what's your prediction on this cut number? Two early. You told me beginning of B squad two weeks ago that it was ten over. And it was ten over.
once your name and arrows appear, you may begin bowling. Your skip procedure is skip one, bowl on the following pair. Skip one, bowl on the following pair. To the right. Welcome back, everybody. Continuing coverage 2023 Springfield doubles. Mike Flanagan here with you on Inside Bowling. Glad you're with us. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed. We're approaching 80,000 subscribers. We'd certainly appreciate that if this is your first time tuning in and watching. We uh, have the B squad up for you here. Seven games for you. We'll have a C squad tonight at 7 o'clock. We've uh, got a pretty loaded squad here. I'll go over that squad here in just a moment. But the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about the standings coming in here. We've got uh, Brandon Carlson and Tyler McLearen are your tournament leaders. 1837, highlighted by two 300 games for Tyler. He bowled 221, 300, 257, 258, 256, 245, 300 for his seven games. 437 over for seven. I want to say that again. 437 over divided by seven. That's a 262.42 average for Tyler. He bowled 1837. Matt Russo had 1805 on the block. So left side looks really good. Not to say the right side doesn't look good, but the left side looks really good. Russo also with a 300 game earlier this morning. Currently right now, as I mentioned, 35-14, your tournament leaders, Carlson and McLaren. And second is Sean Lavery Spar and A.J. Chapman at 34-48. Just one pin back in third is Matt Russo and Mike Ormsby at 34-47. At 34-23, we have Aaron O'Brien and Eddie Bird. They bowled 547 the last game, 257 for O'Brien, 290 for Eddie Bird to get to 3423. 2800 would be par. So when I give you these scores, 3423 is 623 over. It's a bunch. Michael Martell and RJ Broge is currently fifth. They are fifth at 3350. Sixth is Ryan Scott and James Kniffen Jr. at 3,300. So if you were to take the top five off of that squad, 550 over would be the top five on that one. Anthony Lavery Spar and Stu Williams were in seventh at 3,241. Probably not going to be enough to make this cut. But you never know. We are cutting down to the top 25% of the field. We had 19 teams this morning. So that would mean five, 33.50 the number for seven games. Now, on this squad here, let's just direct our attention to what we have going on here in front of us. Zach Wilkins bowling with Pharaoh Williams. We've also got uh, Ryan Lofton here with uh, Justin Nguyen. And then next door we got Grant Smith bowling with Noah Gallagher, Kevin Williams, and Casey Murphy. Casey going pretty straight up the lane here. The other teams on this squad, we have uh, Knopf and Brown, Barrett and Rice, Crummel and Doyle, Phelps and Klein, Robarge and Barnes, Ryan Barnes, Cruz and Martin, Wilson and Kirkendall, Jared Thompson, Michael Holloman, Corkees and Chandler have re-entered, Cook and Whitehurst, Imhoff and Williams, Albrecht and Holloman, Peck and Evans, T. Crow and Blake Damore, Yarborough and Hendrick, Dorsey and Bright, Kennedy and Cryer, 
Baker and Barnett, Freed and Jennings, Galbraith and Bonta, Kelly Bonta. And then we've also got um, Birkenbein, Zach and uh, Lewis, Lane and Curtis, Bohannon and Street, Resnick and Aldrich, Harper and Britton, Bate and McKinney, Ralston and Ennis, and Crow and Stubler. Those are the teams that we have. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. 32 teams on this squad to go with the 19 from this morning. I'm going to switch down to the high end, but bring in our picture and picture here. So you can continue watching the folks we were just talking about on the bottom right of your screen. Here you see Matt Harper and Justin Britton, Zeke Bate and Tyron McKinney, John Ralston and Chris Ennis, Cam Crow, Nate Stubler. So those are your, uh, your teams for this squad. Seven hundred and fourteen over leading this event. Hello to JW, Randy, Chair, Ashley. What place is AJ in? AJ Chapman is currently in second. Yeah, plus 648 with Sean Lavery Spar. AJ bold 1713, Lavery Spar bold 1735. Very consistent. AJ Rice is bowling his first game. They are in zero place. They, they just started during game one. He and Tim Barron are bowling together. They are down um, on lane, lane eight. Hey Sally, how's it going? Welcome back. Great to have you here. Sponsors for this event that make the stream possible and make the entire thing go around. Columbia 300. If you're looking for a new bowling ball purchase, make sure you check out Columbia 300. Makers of fine bowling products, part of the Brunswick family of brands. Also want to thank the Greater Ozarks Open Tournament for being part of this one. Don't forget, come here. In the spring, every year, 66th edition coming up in 2024, Greater Ozarks Tournament. Also want to thank our friends over at Ben Crazy. It's a retail store where they get in a lot of closeouts. They got new things every week. Check them out, Ben Crazy, two locations here inside Springfield. Also would like to thank our host, Enterprise Park Lanes. Exquisite renovations, if you're looking for anything to be... Upgraded, renovated here in Missouri. Check out Exquisite Renovations, Tony Yarbrough and his team. And uh, Farrell Williams, bowling the squad. His apparel company, Royal Flush, 
Apparel. Check out Farrell Williams at Royal Flush Apparel. He says he's going to join me during C-Squad and talk about it a little bit. So looking forward to, uh, to that. Hopefully he bowls well with Zach here today. Well, you're, you're just in time, Linda. Just in time. We are here in Springfield, Missouri, as I mentioned, Enterprise Park Lanes. Done some bowling here back in the day myself at the Greater Ozark Tournament every spring. The Weimer family built this place for bowling, and it's still built for bowling. Not to steal a uh, tagline from Kegel, but I think I just did. Now, they, they did have a Calcutta here. And, you know, one team went for 3,000. Pick of the Litters went for 2,600. And every time I set up, I listen to these Calcuttas. And I did I did mention this on the earlier block. I I, I, um, I purchased two teams. And the, the, te the teams get to buy themselves back. They get to buy, you know, a third, a third, a third, essentially. And uh, one of my teams is bowling right now. I've got Zeke Bait and McKinney. Those are, those are, uh, that's one of my teams. And I got Kirkendall and uh, Wilson. So I have, a little, I have a little rooting interest here, which normally doesn't happen, but it does right now. So maybe you can root along with me. Or root for your favorite team. Tell me who you're rooting for. Or as my buddy Brian Kane would say, who are you tooting for? All right, Tyron and Zeke. And Matt Harper there with 10 pin. That looked pretty good to me. You got Stubler and Crow over here. These guys are always a force to be reckoned with. Cam and I have uh, struck up a bit of a friendship. He joined me in the booth for a block at the uh, last event I did up in Iowa. Ebonite Fall Classic, and uh, he might join during C-Squad here tonight. Cam, what a breath of fresh air he is. We're seeing some pins bouncing out of the gutter here, throwing in some 10 pins. Nice shot there by Cam.
We've got some uh, definite rooting interest here. Team Peck and Evans. Let's go, boys. Let's do it. Can we go to the Pharaoh cam? Let me just swap out the uh, picture in picture here. I can do that. About after uh, Tyron throws the shot here. After he gets this triple for me. It's good to see Chris Ennis out on the lanes as well over here on lane 38. We'll do a little swipsy here. Oh, Pharaoh, look at you. Look at you, Pharaoh. I remember the first time I ever saw Pharaoh Bowl. It's like 1996 at the National Bowling Stadium. Junior Team Challenge. Man, Kevin Williams is going to be mad we just moved over to him. Seven tens on that shot. Guys, I'll be right back. i got to go do something here in-house.
All right, everybody, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to step out for just a moment. Let's see what we got going on here. Looks like we got a scoreboard. It's not focusing very well. Need to probably work on that. 240 for Josh. 246 left here for... For Ryan, Farrow, 225 still left. 237 for Wilkins in the clubhouse. 213 for Kevin. 240s for Casey Murphy. 20150 for Smith and Gallagher. Not a good start here. Switch them out here. Got uh, Zeke Bulls 266. Tyron 214, the best he can do here. Matt Harper 231. Jason Britton can bowl 248. What'd you guys have? Cam and uh, Stubler bowled 490. I know, I know. That's what I'm looking at here, right? Last year it was 472. All right, Cam Crow down here want me to give a cut number prediction. My official cut number prediction is 492. 492 is my cut number prediction. I nailed it up in Iowa. It was 10. I said 10 in B squad. It ended up being 10 exactly. This is a much harder cut number to try to predict. But I'm going, I'm going 492. 492. It was 472 last year. I wrote 517 towards the end of the last block. I'm going to split the difference. I'm going to go like 492. So that's that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. This is the pattern. We've got nobody bowling here on the pairs that we have. Actually, this works out well. A great placement for that pattern. Makes it look like I'm reading it, too. 44 feet in length. You notice it's symmetric on the way down, asymmetric on the way back. You're looking at almost a 5 to 1 ratio. 26 milliliters of oil. And, um, you know, the one, the one thing I didn't look at on here is what oil are they using? What oil does that say? I'm not, not seeing that. Oh. A, A Kegel. A Kegel. What is A Kegel? Tank. Tank A Kegel. 
I don't know what I don't know what oil they're using here. It, that's that's supposed to tell me, but it, it doesn't tell me. So, I mean, oil's oil. I mean, I guess fire and ice would be different, but I don't know. I. They're easy. I mean, let's just put it that way. There, there is hook to the right, and there's hold if you miss in. I mean, that's really the best way I can explain it. All right, here we go. Game two. Do -do 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 -do. Josh Kennedy, Brandon Cryer, Joe Baker, Eric Barnes, Jared Free, Jerry Jennings, Darren Galbraith, and Kelly Bonta. Let's see, what's going on? What did I miss in the chat? Good start for Zeke. How did Peck and Evans do the first game? We'll know soon. Dusty Hill, do you have a link for A squad qualifying scores? Did you come up with a pattern or is something Kegel already had? This this came from the center. I don't know if they built it on their own. Kegel had, I don't know anything about how it was generated. I don't know. How's it going, Jay? Hope you're doing well today, my friend. Um. I was I just going to look up? How do you link A squad's qualifying scores? I do need to figure this out. How you guys are going to get this information. I do need to figure it out. Holy emails. Let's see what I got here. See what I can do. I think they're on Facebook. take a look here. I can at least link you guys there. Most of you have Facebook. Let's see what I got. Discussion. Final. No, no, no. I'm going to be getting some standings. I'll work on that for you. I'll work on that. I said I'd do that during the last block and I, I didn't. So my, my bad. My bad. I'll get on it. I will say this, if I was bowling this event this year and I had to like pick a partner, I would definitely pick a left-hander. No question. No question. Put it up, Jay. Get it up there on the big screen. Load up every other YouTube video we have as well. Just put them all the way across. So listen to my voice for the next six hours. It's a nice shot. Some of these folks I don't see on a regular basis, so we're all getting introduced to some of the names here for the first time together. Kelly Bonta's here. I'm surprised Brandon Bonta isn't here. I'm going to swap this out here. I do know Carter Street. I actually called a junior gold telecast where he bowled 300 a couple years ago. This kid's pretty good. Ball with Tom Bohannon.
Nice little trip of the six there for Cody. Any limit to how many re-entries are allowed? I believe uh, you can just re-enter once, but I don't know that for sure. I might let you enter three times. Lindsay, your order's ready, Lindsay. I don't know who would want to, but that would be a that would be a long day. Twenty-one games. I will tell you the Casey Murphy and um, Kevin Williams not off to the greatest start in the world. Casey bowled 240, Kevin bowled 213. Casey just uh, went six spare, eight one to start this game. Tony Resnick here, he's become quite the bowler. I remember when he was just a youth bowler, he used to come up to Crest Bowl and practice all the time. Nice turn on the lanes for him, good kid. And uh, he's got the state record in the Missouri State Tournament for nine games, I believe it is. Ridiculous score number. I don't remember what it was exactly, but he's turned out to be quite the bowler. And uh, he really, he's one of the best when, when you give him a little bit of room. His partner, Cody Aldridge, also has become a pretty good player as well. They're kind of a sleeper team. You got the big names here, of course. You got all the PBA guys. You got those decorated amateur bowlers. But some of these Missouri bowlers that, that have excelled in Missouri bowling centers on a little more forgiving oil conditions, you don't want to have to face off against those guys. They can beat you. They can definitely beat you. Shane. Some of these uh, snack bar calls are catching guys a little bit.
Carter. See, he's just smooth. He's good. He's good. He doesn't overpower him. Tom Bohannon, he gets some good bowlers to bowl with him. I don't know if he's just a hell of a salesman or what. I mean, he's a damn good bowler himself, but he he definitely gets himself some horses. Yeah, I got this tournament. I want you to come bowl with me. Okay. Whatever you tell me to do, Drill Sergeant. Oh, I got standing. Thank you. All right. Here we are. And speaking of which, Tony Resnick and Cody Aldrich, 265 for Resnick, Aldrich 264 the first game. I missed that. 529 they bowled. Dimitri Cruz and Kendall Martin had 528. Josh Kennedy and Brandon Cryer had 524. Jared Thompson and Michael Holloman had 502. Cam Crow and Nate Stubler had 497. Ryan Lane and Brandon Curtis had 491. Dakota Phelps and Andy Klein had 486. Justin Nguyen and Ryan Lofton, 482. Zeke Bate and... Barbara, your order's ready, Barbara. Okay. Zeke Bate and Tyron McKinney, 480. Tim Barrett and A.J. Rice, 479. Matt Harper and Jason Britton, 478. Donnie Wilson and Brian Kirkendall, 474. Zach Wilkins and Farrell Williams, 462. Robert Albrecht and Jonathan Holloman, 459. Kevin Williams and Casey Murphy, 453. Galbraith and Bonta, 450. Spencer Robars and Ryan Barnes, 449. Joe Baker and Eric Barnett, 449. Tim Crow and Blake Demore, 445. Nick Crummel and Cam Doyle, 442. Zach Birkenbein and Derek Lewis, 439. Josh Imhoff and Carl Williams, 431. Jared Freed and Jerry Jennings, 426. Mike Peck and Blake Evans, 418. Corkies and Chandler also had 418. John Ralston and Chris Ennis, 408. Daniel Dorsey and John Bright, 403. Yarborough and Hendrick, 395. Tom Bohannon and Carter Street, 388. Caden Cook and Caden, wow, Caden and Caden, two different spellings. Caden with a C, Caden with a K. Caden with a C and Caden with a K. Caden with a C, Caden with a K. Caden with a C, Cook. Caden with a K, Whitehurst, 375. Grant Smith and Noah Gallagher, 356, and rounding out the field, Buster Brown and Grant Knopf. Not a good start for them, 295. 295. So Resnick and Aldrich are leaders here. Told you these guys are sneaky. Told you. I don't have a song for told you. No game seven scores showed. I do have game seven scores here. I just got to figure out how I'm going to get these to you guys. Ready. 
Let me see what I can do. I know, I know, Dusty. I have the scores here in my hand. I went over them at the open at the top of the broadcast. Um, but I also need to try to figure out how to get them to you electronically. I'm gonna go for a field trip and figure that out.
All right, I just went and tried out for American Idol. Get my singing in. Now I'm going to work on your scores. I think I got that figured out, too. I might. A squad after seven. Here we go. All right, everybody, so here's what's going on. I've got the standings after seven, officially. And they have been sent to my social media guru, Kimberly. And she is going to put them out in Instagram stories and on the Inside Bowling Facebook page. Those are coming. Full standings after seven. On their way. Coming at you. And then I was also told that they, a picture of them has been posted in the uh, 10K page on Facebook. Event page. Colorado came back at USC today, huh?
All right, guys, slightly distracted here. There's a few other things going on here, but uh, let me call out some scores here. We've got uh, Grant Smith, 223. Noah Gallagher can bowl 184. Kevin Williams bowled 187. Casey Murphy can bowl 246. 235 for Zach Wilkins. Farrell Williams can bowl 279. He'll be up on his 10th shot, or last shot of the 10th frame, I should say. 279. Um, Justin Wynn, 259. 213 left for Ryan Lofton. Right here in front of us, we've got uh, Zach Birkenbein can bowl 227. 191 for Derek Lewis. Ryan Lane can bowl 215. His partner, Brandon Curtis, can bowl 247. Tom Bohannon can still bowl 223. Carter Street, 259. Tony Resnick can bowl 215. Cody Aldrich can bowl 215. So there's your standings there, how those look. And then bowling has been completed over on our other pairs there. So we'll make that disappear. We are moving right along. A little, little bit faster pace here today for this squad than we had this morning. Scores are up on the Inside Bowling Facebook page. Shout out again to Kimberly for taking care of that. It's much appreciated. Oh, I guess I should... Uh Should be good. They should be up on uh, Instagram shortly if they're not already. I am liking this pace. I am liking the pace. A lot of bowlers out there, but they are bowling quickly. This is the last pairs to be done. As a matter of fact, they are the in pairs, which is a little surprising. Chelsea, your order's ready. There's that snack bar order again.
All right, as we roll into game three, we got Farrell Williams up again with Zach Wilkins, Justin Wynn, and Ryan Lofton. We got uh, Grant Smith, Noah Gallagher, Kevin Williams, Casey Murphy looking to get things going here. Notice that uh, Kevin and Casey now off to a great start here. It's go time for these guys. Also, uh, I'm going to bring them into the bottom right-hand side of your screen. I'm going to introduce you to our other players here. we got Mike Peck, Blake Evans, Tim Crow, and Blake Demore. Tony Arborough with Craig Hendrick. Daniel Dorsey and John Bright. Looks like I have standings after two here. It looks like Josh Kennedy and Brandon Cryer are your leaders at 10:28. Cam Crow and Nate Stubler at 9:94. This is interesting. The first game, Cam Crow bowls 219, Stubler bowls 278. Second game, Cam Crow, Crow bowls 278, Stubler bowls 219. So they just flip flopped their games, games one and two. Dimitri Cruz and Kendall Martin are in third on the squad at 981. Fourth is Zach Wilkins and Farrell Williams at 976. Tim Barron and A.J. Rice are next on the squad at 972. They bowled 479, 493. Jared Thompson, Michael Holloman, 963. Wilson and Kirkendall, 959. Galbraith and Bonta at 9.58. Wynn and Lofton at 9.54. Lane and Curtis at 9.52. Resnick and Aldrich at 9.43. Crummel and Doyle just bowled 4.99 to get to 9.41. Harper and Britton at 9.40. Bate and McKinney at 9.26. Phelps and Klein at 9.17. Robarge and Barnes at 9.01. Imhoff and Williams at 901. Crow and Damore at 900. Freed and Jennings at 899. At 897 is Albrecht and Holloman. Kevin Williams, Casey Murphy are at 886. Yep, 886. Peck and Evans at 872. Bohannon and Street at 870. Ralston and Ennis at 864. Chisholm and Tisdale reentry at 8:59. Birkenbein and Lewis at 8:57. Cook and Whitehurst at 8:21. Yarborough and Hendrick at 8:13. Baker and Barnett at 7:81. Smith and Gallagher 7:62. Dorsey and Bright 7:32. And Knopf and Brown 6:40. Those are your standings right now.
All right, everybody. I am swapping back. Just sharing the love. Just sharing the love. I haven't done any mystery boxes lately. Share, no problem. No problem. I know some of you are interested in Spencer and Ryan. Spencer Bowl 236, 234, Ryan Bowl 213, 218. Thank you. So we have 32 teams on this squad. So basically one and four would be um, eight, right? Eight off of this squad. So right now that would be 58, 158 over. So it's basically 78 a game. So 78 times seven. 78 times 7, 546 right now. Plus 546. This squad right here is pacing for the top eight after two games. I'm th I, I wrote this morning 517. I came back at 492. It's my predicted cut score. It's going to be right in that range. Here is Pharaoh now. Pharaoh's looking good. His ball reaction is looking good. He always looks good. Oh. That was weird uh, pen action there for Casey. Kevin and Casey just not able to get anything really rolling here. But they're capable of bowling 600 at any given time. Yep, I said it, 600.
All right, setting up the 10th frame here. Justin Wynn can bowl 237, 245 for Ryan Lofton. Zach Wilkins can bowl 232, and of course, Farrell here can bowl 279. Farrell Williams so far today has bowled 225, 279. If he were to bowl 279 in this game, that would be back-to-back -back 279s for Farrell. Grant Smith here with that spare would be able to bowl 202. Noah Gallagher, 204. Kevin Williams can now get to 244. Casey Murphy, 238. I'm going to flip these for just a moment. Looks like it was 191 for Tim Crow. Blake Damore, 216. Mike Peck, 191. Blake Evans can still bowl 233. Tony Yarbrough, 226. Max score left for him. His partner, Craig Hendricks, had the front six, went nine spare. Strike can bowl 279 still. Daniel here can bowl 216 now. And John Bright can bowl 181. I'm going to switch back, but you can at least see how everybody's doing with the picture in picture here. Just wanted to run down those scores. Nice little messenger there for Zach Wilkins on that second shot in the 10th. It's going to get him into the 230s, that messenger. This comment here from Power Court. I never thought I'd find someone with a shorter follow through than Stu Williams. But now I have. Guess I was wrong. Okay, we're going to get into the 240s now. Farrell looking to get into the 270s with a strike here. Two sixty-eight for Farrell. Good start for him today. Whoa. That was inside a target.
shot by Casey there. They were looking for Farrow and Zach. Guess they took the second game, or maybe they're refunding some brackets. I'm not sure what they're doing there. Hey, Chad, how you doing, buddy? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the Springfield Doubles 2023 edition B Squad qualifying. Halfway through the next game, I'll be halfway through the day. Two seventy eight for Craig Hendrick. Tony Arbor one ninety six. And uh, Casey Murphy finished out with a strike two eighteen. Kevin Williams two forty one. That's gonna do it for game number three. Nobody's bowling at all. Looks like everybody's moving around. Be a great opportunity to sit here and let you know. I'm always gonna sit here, but let you know that Columbia three hundred is our title sponsor here. Columbia 300, great sponsor of this event. Greater Ozarks Open, 66 a year, coming up here in 2024 in the spring. Ben Crazy, if you're looking for some cool closeouts, check out Ben Crazy right here in Springfield. Two locations. Of course, we want to thank Enterprise Park Lanes, our hosts here, for making the event even possible. Exquisite renovations. If you're looking to get anything re renovated here in the area, commercial or residential, check out Exquisite Renovations. And then Farrell Williams, his uh, apparel company, Royal Flush Apparel. Check them out for your jersey needs. Farrell was giving me a hard time when he came in. He goes, make sure you put some enthusiasm into my into my my read there. So here, I'll try. I'll try right here. Ladies and gentlemen, do you ever once in a while walk around, you're feeling a little bit down? Maybe you're just feeling like, you know, today's not my day. Well, head over to Royal Flush Apparel. Pick yourself up some great jerseys. Farrell Williams will bless every single one of those jerseys coming out of the factory. He'll take care of you. Put those things on. You'll turn that frown upside down. Check out Royal Flush Apparel. How about that? Is that better? I think that's better. Boy, I have no idea why nobody's bowling right now. Did they ask them not to bowl? Got to be the case. There's no possible way. There's no other explanation. Hey, thank you, Zach. Thank you. Yeah, I, I I didn't get the memo on what's going on here. I think they want me to go out and throw throw a ball. I think that's what it is. I think they're waiting for me to go out and throw out an honorary game four ball. Let's see here. I'm going to do an official flip here. 
You guys ready for this 3D plane flip? Hi, everybody. I'm up here in the booth. I got my uh, standings here for this squad. After two, I got my A squad final right here. I've got uh, my cell phone here. I got my Grand Casino Hotel Resort, best pins you can ever find on a nightstand. Highly recommend these. And if you take it, they'll put a new one on every day. Love these pins. What else can I show you guys while we have this brief intermission? Got my Utah Jazz ice water container here. It's very nice. Let's see. I've got uh, some gaff tape right here. By the way, don't travel with this through the airport. TSA doesn't like this stuff. Uh, so make sure you check that. Um, still nobody bowling. This would be a great opportunity for you to head over to the little subscribe button on our YouTube channel. You could like this video also. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Uh, we also have a notification bell that will give you a little pop-up that says, Inside Bowling's going live or just went live. That's a cool thing to do. So if you want to do that, that's great. Or you could also head over to uh, right down there, InsideBowling.com, and you could check out our apparel. That's... Uh, T-shirts, hoodies, things like that. You can save 15% with coupon code YouTube right down here. Um, yeah, you do that. You could also go sign up for the Greater Ozarks Bowling Tournament. You could do that uh, for in the spring. You and uh, your teammates, you can get in that. So, again, I guess I'm going to go find out what this delay is. I, I don't know what. We were, we were cruising. We were cruising on time. Like, I mean, it, it was... It was going beautifully well. Here's our schedule for the weekend. We had A squad this morning at 9 a.m. B squad going on right now at 1.30. C squad tonight at 6. Why did I say 7 earlier? It's at 6. It's my bad, although it'll probably start a little bit later. Maybe I knew that ahead of time. See? Cashers round Sunday, 8.30 a.m. Finals, 11.30 a.m. All time central, of course. That's where we are. So I'm going to go see what's up. All right, I figured out today's delay. It's uh, name transferring over. So they're having an issue with the computer transferring the names from pair to pair automatically. So we have this brief delay. But uh, there's the oil pattern for those of you that love oil patterns. Pop that one up there for you. Mike here with you.
All right, looks like we got some names popping up. Names popping up. So we better get this tournament started. Names popping up, so you better get this tournament started. Get this tournament started on a Saturday night. Corky's Chisholm is feeling all right. We're going to have three other teams with his coming up here in game four. That's what it is. Corky's Chisholm bowling with Chandler Tisdale. Caden Cook and Caden Whitehurst uh, chasing their tail. Josh Scheimhoff, Carl Williams, Robert Albrecht, and Jonathan Holloman are coming up on the right lane. Mark, your order's ready, Mark. And the right pair in general. All right, I'm shutting that down. I'm shutting that one down. We're going to go ahead and just flush that one. Back underway. See what else we have here. We've got these fine folks right here. And over here, they moved to picture in picture. We got Josh Kennedy, Brandon Cryer, which by the way were your tournament leaders after two. Joe Baker, Eric Barnett. Jared Freed, Jerry Jennings, Darren Galbraith, and Kelly Bonta. Let's watch uh, Brandon and Josh here a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Ready, Jessica? Sure, no problem, no problem. I'd be more happy to sing the entire broadcast. That is one thing I wish. Uh, I would ask. I would ask all of you the same question. If you could, if you could be given like a fifty percent boost on on any sort of talent. Okay, a 50% boost on any sort of talent. What would you choose? I'll give you some examples before you type it in. Would you would you want to be a 50% better singer? 50% uh, better um, runner? 50% uh, more hair on your head? 50% um, better vision? What what would be your 50% better? If you could just pick one thing, you were granted one wish, 50% better of anything. And I'm telling you right now, mine, I believe, is a slam dunk. I want to be a 50% better singer. Yep, that would be it.
Oh, Bogo Dad, that's a good one. A golfer, 50% better golfer. That would be cool. That's a good idea. That's a good one. There's a lot. There's a lot of business done on the golf course, and if you're, if you get better at golf, yeah, that could that could pay off. That could be a payoff. We got 50% better bowlers. Spare shooter. That's a good one. Hey, we got a good spare spare shooting tip coming out Tuesday on our Inside Bowling YouTube channel from Coach Shady. I think it's a great tip. Um, I edited it this week. It's going through the final spot-free rent in the uh, editing bay. It'll be out Tuesday. Tuesday. Be there, 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 there. Guitar player. I like that one, too. I'm surprised nobody said they want to be a 50% better lover. Uh, that's... <laughs> Fifty percent better cook. Fifty man, boy, wouldn't that be great if you could just give yourself fifty percent better? I mean, and just think how much that fifty percent would go. Fifty cent percent. All right, I'm gonna take one for the team, everybody. I'm gonna retract my statement. I no longer want to be a fifty percent better singer. I'm going to try to be a 50% better broadcaster. That's right for you guys. I'm being totally unselfish. I'm going to actually become a somewhat, somewhat comparable broadcaster with 50% more. That's it. I just came up with it. You're welcome, everybody. You're welcome. You're welcome. Martin, you're right. I am the best. That's a good point. 50% better salary, Albert. I'm with you. Hey, w didn't the whole world just give us 50% more expensive groceries, going out to eat, gas, everything? Inflation's at like 50%. Kristen, I know. I'm great. Oh, I love me. You know, many people say you got to find your soulmate. I just wish there was another one of me. I'd meet myself. That's how great it is. Being me. It really is. We got people waving at the camera. Tournament leaders. At least they were the tournament leaders. Josh and Brandon. They're just down there. They're ready to crush this tournament. They're in a good mood. Down there looking at something. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> so pretty much like Lee Bedoris. Yep, that's right. This is about the time of the day where things start to get a little nutty. But guess what right now is? We're uh, officially at the halfway point. This is the halfway point of the event. I've never tried this before, but I'm going to try it right now. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. I want to see if this plays. I don't know if it will. Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Oh, it's Finish right. him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! 
Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Sorry about that. That's what I get. That's what I get for messing up. So you're welcome. That's hilarious. That is hilarious, guys. Come on, that is, you gotta admit that is hilarious. Which uh, I want to go watch this back now. I had it on in the background, and um, I I can't hear it through my headphones. So that's what I get for trying something. <laughs> I'm assuming it's gone now. I don't even want to read the chat because this is embarrassing at this point. I don't even want to read what you guys have to say. 
How loud was it? Was it like really loud? Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. Mike, read the chat. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. <laughs> How many people muted this broadcast? Please type in the chat. You, don't, you can unmute now. I can't even look at the chat. I'm not looking at the chat for the rest of the block. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed right now. I'm getting text messages. I'm getting people sending me messages IMing me. This is this is unreal. <laughs> I've never gotten so many text messages at <laughs> one time in my life. <laughs> Uh, I'm crying up here. I'm laughing so hard about this. Mm, that is great. That is, that's an all-time, that's almost like a Flangan moment there if you watched on Bull TV this year. I'm going to take, I'm going to take a drink of this water. You're welcome. You were here when it happened. You all were here when it happened. When I, when I hit the, when I tried to bring in a sound effect, couldn't hear it through my headset. Left it on, kept looping, and I happened to be reading off the paper. Whew. You need me to read through the standings again, or were you able to hear it over the moral combat? Moral combat. Finish him. I still haven't looked at the chat. I can't. I just I can't do it. Uh, I got to finish him. <laughs> I mean, imagine imagine getting a text and nobody knowing what the hell this is about, and it says the finish him is looping. I just received a text that said the finish him is looping. <laughs> uh, never forget that. Mm. I'll be watching that back. Oh, I, this whole thing, this whole thing is just blowing up. Hey, in case you didn't know, <laughs> and the gym is looping on your broadcast. Whew. Oh, man. Oh. I guess I should apologize. Hey, everybody. Sorry about that. I was just trying to get intuitive here and have some fun on the broadcast. I was wanting to see if a soundboard would work. And clearly, I can't hear anything. So, it's my bad. It's my bad. Uh. Honestly, I am – honestly, everybody, I am really just a bowler. I'm just a fan of bowling. Always have been. That's just been my deal. All this technical stuff and hooking everything up and trying to get anything to work, I hate it. I really do. People think I'm like an expert at this, I, I, and, and I'm not. I'm not. I much rather prefer a producer with me. I, when I'm producing and i got to make all this shit work, it just doesn't work. And then I want to do something fun. That's where I'm supposed to be able to call into the producer. Hey, hey, can we start getting some sound effects going on here? Okay, you, you can pipe those in. Great. Instead, I got to do it. You guys ready for me to get this back on track? What do you guys want me to do now? <sighs> It's not a soundboard, though. It was really just me bringing up an MP3 and adding it into the broadcast, but it wasn't showing any volume. So I'm like, oh, this thing isn't working. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. I've got more sound effects. I don't even know what they do or what they sound like. I won't be able to hear them. You guys can hear them. I can't hear them. Meanwhile, our tournament leaders here, they're going to watch this back and go, we come through the live streams, we're leading the tournament, we're striking like crazy, we're trying to get our names out there, and all you're doing up there is looping Mortal Kombat finish him. So how can I, how can I tie this together? Okay, 
These guys are leading the tournament. So they're winning the match right now. So I was just wanting them to finish the tournament. There you go. That was for you, Brandon and Josh. Tournament leaders, the TLs. So I, I did some work for Flow Bowling there for a while. And um, they didn't have a chat room, okay? And I got to tell you, I feel naked without a chat room. So when I was working for them, I created a Discord so I could have a chat room. You need a chat room for people to tell you every time you mess up. Pam, your order's ready. Pam? Scoring update. Sure, I can do that for you. I can do that. Not a problem. Remember, you were here September 30th, 2023, when Mike played finish him for five minutes straight. Josh Kennedy and Brandon Cryer, your leaders, at 1552. And I'm just talking about this squad. Crow and Stubler at 1517. Cruz and Martin at 1508. Wilkins and Williams. At 1475, 1469 is Barron and Rice. Jared Thompson, Michael Holloman are 1429. Bate and McKinney at 1418. Wynn and Lofton at 1415. Lane and Curtis at 1413. Imhoff and Williams at 1403. Galbraith and Bonta at 1402. Wilson and Kirkendall at 1395. Albrecht and Holloman at 1389. Crummel and Doyle at 1368, Freed and Jennings at 1357, Harper and Britton at 1355, Resnick and Aldrich at 1353, Kevin Williams, Casey Murphy at 1345, Tom Bohannon and Carter Street at 1341, Robarge and Barnes at 1336, Ralston and Ennis at 1324, Corkies and Chandler Tisdale at 1322, Zach Birkenbein. Derek Lewis at 1311, Crow and Demore at 1307, Phelps and Klein at 1300. There's a few teams left, but I'm sticking at 1300 and above. Finish him. There you go, everybody. So we got 237 for Josh. Brandon can bowl 259. Brandon bowled 802 to start. Josh bowled 750. Joe Baker, 199, 203 left for Eric. Jared at 247, Jimmy Jennings, Jerry Jennings, excuse me, 245. Darren Galbraith, 245, 258 for Kelly Bonta. Brandon gassed that one. He missed the fatality, I guess. I'm going to flip flop these right now. You got 199 for Corkeys, 213 for Chandler, Cook had 266, Caden Whitehurst had 216, Imhoff just bowled 190, 217 left for Carl Williams, Robert Albrecht can bowl 228, Jonathan Holloman can still bowl 258. There you have it. A meal's wonderful too. How many people do we have watching at that time? That's important too. About 300. I am. I am gonna. Uh, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I'm thinking about grabbing my phone right now. You can DVR this and just go back. I think I'm ready to. I think I'm gonna watch the whole thing. Listen to it. Listen. Try to listen to myself talk through <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs>
Anybody play Mortal Kombat? Who was your favorite character? I always like Scorpion. Well, that's good, Dusty. I only want—I don't want anybody here watching this broadcast. I, I like all the people that enjoy finish him. <laughs> All right, we got game five coming up. I guess I should build the graphic. Why not, huh? Cruising right along. Sco scores are high, but there are some teams here, and I haven't talked about it yet. I'm going to after this game. You know, they had a Calcutta here where pe teams were bid on pretty expensive. And there's a few teams on the struggle bus. They're going to have to re-enter to pay off that uh, that Calcutta. That's for sure. Let's see. I don't even know where I am. This whole thing is so messed up now because of Mortal Kombat. All right, here we go. Game five. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Looks like we got a little Spencer Robarge and Ryan Barnes coming over. Dimitri Cruz, Kendall Martin. Dimitri and Kendall were up there in the uh, standings. They were third after uh, three games. Donnie Wilson, Brian Kirkendall, Jared Thompson, Michael Hallman. This will be quite a treat. And on the bottom right of your screen, we're going to have Mike Peck and Blake Evans, Tim Crow, Blake Damore, and Yarborough, Henrik, Freed, Jennings, Galbraith. But no, that ain't right. I don't know who's coming over yet, but they'll be there in just a moment. And I'm going to step away for a second and go for a little walk and reset, which I think is, is much needed right now, if you ask me. You guys good with that? I can leave you guys with some other video game thing on a loop if you want, but I'll choose not to right now. Be right back, everybody.
Jack, your order's ready, Jack.
All right, everybody, I'm here to redeem myself. Uh, grab that chair over there. I've got guests. I've got guests. Here we go. All right, everybody. Um, after my, uh, they have no idea that what that we're not going to tell them about what happened here in the booth a little while ago with the uh, Loop MP3 that I had playing for five minutes and didn't know it. Uh, so we're not even going to tell them about that. Uh, but joining me here in the booth are uh, third place overall um, after A Squad 3447. Both of them are here actually, Matt Russo and Mike Ormsby, all the way from. Uh, late night flight from uh, Howell Lanes, up, Howell in, Lanes up, yep. up in New Jersey, the head Howell mechanic there. Yes, sir. You Keeping decided not. Running. Yeah, birthday parties today going to be okay without <laughs> you there? Yeah, we'll see. Doesn't work, the weekends. <laughs> Doesn't work the weekends. Doesn't work the weekends. Manages rev rates, VIP entertainment as well. So uh, yeah, we got a lot of cool things going on over there. Great. Well, I think the soundboard and everything's working. I haven't had three people on yet, but as long as you guys can hear each other, we're good to go. So thanks for joining me here in the booth, guys. No, um, thanks for having us. About a five-to-one ratio out there, pretty high scoring. They're not as high as I thought they would be this squad, actually, truthfully. Uh, just walking around, kind of seeing what people are doing, it just looks like they got pretty cliffed early, and uh, some pairs are pretty good, and, and other pairs are not. So um, they're in game five already, and... It'll be interesting to see kind of if they hold up. Or I know they got pretty toasty on the right uh, the last two games when we bowled here on the high end. Yeah, so definitely. Got a little sloppy out there. I'm going to try to update this graphic. Let's see, it's uh, Matt Russo. I've heard of him. <laughs> and Mike, that's a great first name. O-R-M-S-B-Y. Ormsby. You know, you're one of the first people to ever say the last name like that, like without knowing the person and getting it right. Oh, correct, yeah. Everybody people butcher it all the time. Butcher it all the time. There we go, Ormsby. Ormsby. Yeah. It's, it's pretty, like, it's easy. I mean, but you do this for a living, so, like, you know. You I do it for a living. <laughs> you know, you pronounce people's names for a living. Kind of. I also play uh, Mortal Kombat, finish him, MP3 over and over again for five minutes straight. <laughs> Oops. And didn't know it. And wasn't looking at the chat. And people were telling you that they were. Oh, <laughs> my phone went nuts. <laughs> this was today or this oh, was a yeah. while back? Oh, yeah. This was like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I had to get up and just walk around. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> it, I did listen to it, though. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to go back and watch it. They told me not to do it. They wanted me to do a response video of myself listening to it for the first time, but. Anyway, nice to have you guys here. So um, the lefties are, are kind of killing it here. Um, you bowled 300, Matt. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Speedy is his nickname. Tyler McLaren bowled two 300s. Oh gosh, yeah. yeah, I got, got to follow him uh, basically all day. I mean, just the way that the cross worked. But, uh, you know, I... Never felt like they were hard enough to where you couldn't kind of keep doing the same thing across the entire house. And uh, unfortunately, his ball just struck a little more than I did. Uh, you know, a couple of bone eights the last game for 2 team. That's a pretty good shot, so will be the difference there. But it looks like he bowled pretty darn good the whole day and uh, was pretty simple. On our side line, there's really only one way to play him, and that's somewhere around probably 11, 12, 13, 14, depending on how slow you throw it, and uh, somewhere to the left. What's shocking to me is how um, Kevin Williams is struggling. Yeah, you know, I don't, I'm not really sure. Maybe he's not seeing it close enough to it. Um, you know, it is kind of hard if you know this bowling center pretty well, and like he does, and sometimes, you know, it, that hurts you more than it helps you. Um, but there is a, a good amount of lefties on this squad, and <clears throat> I would think, uh, you know, just – Okay, thank you. Trying to help him out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, definitely looked like he was a little bit deeper than most of us and uh, just didn't seem like that was going to be the best play, truthfully. Um, you know, I, I kind of I threw the same ball the whole day, and uh, I tried a couple different pieces, and 
Never really had to move my feet, so. We've got uh, scores here after four on B squad. I got Cam Crow and Nate Stubler. So they bowl 497, 497 with inverted scores. 219, 278, 278, 219. Then they bowl 523 and 566. Cam is at 1031. Stubler is at 1052. So they're at 2083 as a team. Josh Kennedy and Brandon Cryer are at uh, 2036. Then Dimitri Cruz and Kendall Martin, who we have up on our screen here, they are um, they are in third at 1992. Uh, next is Tim Barrett and A.J. Rice at 1949. Galbraith and Bonta at 1905. They have two games over 500, low 500s. Zach Wilkins and Farrell Williams are at 1898. Donnie Wilson and Brian Kirkendall. Here we go. Here we go. 1878, 1876, excuse me. Jared Thompson and Michael Holloman at 1873. John Ralston and Chris Ennis at 1858. Boy, they've come on. They bowled 408 the first game, then 456, 460, then 534. Uh, Ryan Lane and Brandon Curtis at 1856. Zeke Bate and uh, Tyron McKinney are at 1850. Jared Freed and Jerry Jennings are at 1849. Robert Albrecht and Jonathan Holloman at 1842. Robars and Barnes, 1836. Spencer just bowled 279. They bowled 500 as a team. So if you do the math, that means Barnes had 221. And this morning I talked to Kevin Williams. For whatever reason, Barnes on any live stream I've done on a somewhat moderate to easy condition is not bowled. He's bowled well, but he hasn't scored well. And uh, I, I cautioned and was worried about, you know, is this going to be the tournament where he breaks out on my live stream here? <laughs> Can average 230, 240, 250, something like that. Because we have guys averaging 260 like yourself, Matt. And and he hasn't. I mean, he just, he just bowled 213, 218, 219, 221. The one good thing about that is he's getting better every game. Yeah, it looks like they actually just hit a really good pair. Uh, I mean, low game going to be 248 if everybody strikes out. So, uh it looks like 27 and 8 actually is a pretty good pair as I just jinxed it right there. But uh, take his 230, 246. Uh, yeah, two, so he is improving. So if he improves, he'll bowl 250 or 260 the next game. You know, I was worried. My scores were going down after the first. I bowled 278, 267, 240. I was like, this ain't this ain't going the right direction. And then I bowled 300. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> I heard for that Ryan and Spencer went for the most in the Calcutta. 3,000, yeah. yeah. And, uh yeah, I'm glad I'm not them. And you guys went for $400. $400. Thank you to everybody who didn't bid. Crummel and Doyle are uh, next in line at 1802, along with Justin Wynn and uh, Ryan Lofton. They are tied at the 1802 number. Kevin Williams and Casey Murphy at 1799 are next up. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end there. That's page one of the standings after four games here. Uh, remember, everybody, that, that they can re-enter the tournament. You can re-enter on C-Squad, and I think some teams are going to re-enter. I don't know if Stu Williams is going to re-enter. Um, I don't know if they're going to re-enter. Yeah, they were talking about it. Um, I, don't, I, don't really, I don't really know what the, what their thought was. That's what it looked like they had a pretty good look early, and then it looked like they yep. just you know lost a little bit there at the end. Yep. And, uh, you nailed it there. Yep. I thought they were going to almost lead the squad. I mean, Stu's ball reaction was insane, and uh, Anthony looked like he was doing the right thing as well. But I think C-Squad, there's going to be a, a good amount of teams who are, like, good teams that are going to re-enter uh, if, if, you know, that's the way it goes. So I think C-Squad can uh, definitely at least have a good amount of bowlers on there that are that are pretty good. So, Mike, what's the story on you? Nobody knows much about you. <laughs> the, the little hidden guy comes down from the northeast. Sydney Bone was talking you up big time in the chat oh, a little while ago. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I don't bowl uh, a lot of big events, so uh, not a lot of people know about me. I heard uh, I heard a couple of people were, were wondering who this guy, who's, uh, who's bowling with Matt Russo, who is this guy. So, you know, it's, uh, it's nice to come out and, and bowl alongside him. I mean, we grew up together and bowled. God, it's been it's been so long. We were teenagers. Best man in the wedding Best too. Best man in the wedding, yeah. Yeah. A couple weeks. Flying out to Jamaica. So Two weeks. I got my speech all ready and uh, ready to go. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why don't you just give it to everybody yeah, now? Yeah. Meet, meet your mic. You want to come mic. live stream our wedding? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's fine. What's the inside bowling fee? Yeah, we'll talk about it off air. About your flight. Yeah. Just <laughs> figure it out. Can we start a GoFundMe right now and? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Get my flight again to Jamaica. That's a good idea. Inside bowling. 
No, nah, Mike and I grew up together, um, just young kids in the bowling center, and uh, actually, you know, just became really close, and uh, just, you know, we're basically brothers. So, uh, you know, we always shared some time on the lanes together and just enjoyed bowling with one another. And, uh, yeah, it's always great to, <coughs> to lace them up with him. It's, it's, I just love watching him bowl. It's like a robot, you know. It's perfect every shit. It was, it was so cool to watch him bowl today especially so My, mike are you a student of the game like do you follow the tour and everything a lot for the most part you know i'm not i'm not too uh, embedded into it but I, I follow up on it okay so earlier today i had kevin williams here in the booth the host of the event and i was talking to him and i was watching matt bowl here and i feel like he's really he's really second half of the season on a pba tour he really elevated his game absolutely and i don't know what i don't know what's going on with him these days but he's made a couple of adjustments that i just feel like he's just really kind of elevated himself right so we were watching him bowl and 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 i said you know what kevin I, something just popped into my mind he reminds me of another guy on tour who's had success that's right-handed that's also two-handed and wears glasses and they're almost the same guy demeanor wise on the lanes do you know who that would be right hand two-handed wears glasses First guy that comes to mind is Chris Vi. That's it. Okay. That's who I said. I said he's Chris Vi. <laughs> Chris Vi. They, I they are the same. They are the same guy. Okay. They're the same guy, bowling demeanor-wise on the lane. I'm glad I got that right. I might have gotten roasted in the chat. Kevin didn't get it. No? It took him. I heard Kevin was like giving crap because uh, he, yeah, you know, he, he, Chris Vi. He didn't get it, but uh, no, I think you know I I appreciate you saying that, Mike. I you know thanks. Uh, I just think I found a new just part of the game that, you know, mentally and uh, just talking to the right people and working with on the right things and, uh, you know, just being more patient. Um, I really just think it was just trying not to worry about everybody else and, you know, remember doing my own thing and met with Brian O'Keefe and we, you know, talked about some things and worked on some stuff and uh, just really felt like it took me to the next level. So I uh, feel like I'm bowling really good right now and, uh, you know, I know we're bowling on five to one, but still, still need to throw it somewhat okay to, uh, yeah, to strike a bunch. Passes. Well, I thought, I thought your speed was perfect today. I thought your speed control was ridiculously good. Like if this was a Madden game, mm -hmm. your speed rating would have been like 97. Oh yeah, the repetition. Mm. Yeah, and then I thought your release was super, super consistent also today, like 95 probably. Which means when those two things are that good, yeah, on five to one, <laughs> yeah, it's, you don't have to split boards. That is true. And I'm not saying that you were spraying it like a sprinkler. I'm not saying that at all. You were pretty accurate, but we did see you leak one way left on that 300 game. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it just <laughs> money. Yeah, that I kind of told myself if that one struck, it was going to probably bowl 300. But uh, yeah, just. Just all falling into play, and uh, so you're saying I was like Tua in Madden, you know? Yeah, like yeah. that 92, just 93 no, overall, you know? No, nobody hits you though. Yeah, that could exactly. Be a just nobody slinging me with a arm. Here, here's Matt's 300 from earlier today. I hope it works and it's not on a loop for five minutes. Does it have the? That one was aced. That was a good shot. Yeah. Did you get the other ones before that? Yeah, I got them. The one before that was about three further right, and the one before that was about four further left. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. But you had the other two things working, yeah. so you don't have to split boards. Um, the other thing, we, Kevin in the chat, this guy Kevin in the chat, was watching you, and he was ta really talking about how great you were bowling, and he said, I think Russo made a, made a, um, made a change to where he starts his bowling ball in his setup. He raised it. It looks like he's raised it. Is that accurate? Yeah, straight observation. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I um, you know, the first half of well, the first couple of weeks of the tour season didn't go very well. And uh, I was like, man, I'm just getting run over by some things that I feel like I could do better at. And uh, just had a chat with Brian O'Keefe. We worked for about an hour and a half and just watched a couple old videos. And when I felt like I was bowling my best, and all of a sudden it just started to click. And once it clicked, I, you know, just let it take over and been working out ever since so yeah definitely raised the ball position a little bit higher and uh, got my hand in a better spot underneath it just a little bit more clean and kind of 
more repetitive for sure so there's there's still some days where it's where it's not the best but that's just bowling that's an at, you know being an athlete and just you know how you work through that is kind of how you figure out to be better and uh it's just really fallen into place the last couple of weeks so we have an astute audi audience here very astute these people are they notice everything my dad have a question for you yeah if you were bowling this tournament yeah and you went out there and played on this five to one 44 feet what yeah. would you average yeah what do you feel like you'd average? You're throwing a trad critical mass <laughs> from about 15. Cracked. Cracked. Cracked, cracked one. <laughs> yeah, the cracked one in the video. 500 grit. 500 grit. Yeah, we got to give you a little bit of hook. No, I, if I bowled on, you know, that's a really good question. I just, I just bowled in this 50 strike challenge video. I need to watch that. Sorry, I haven't watched it yet, but I need to watch it. Yeah. I don't know. I. I I like throwing. I like throwing this ball called an NV Tour. Yeah, that ball's it's pretty good. Kind of, it's kind of my bailout ball. Okay. It doesn't allow. It doesn't overhook down lane. Keeps me out of trouble. But I can't average 260 with it. Type of thing. <laughs> I think. I think I could average. I'm a miss. I'm gonna miss 25 percent of my spares, makeable spares. So, I think I would strike seven times a game, and I would miss 25 percent. I would not leave many splits. So on, a se on seven games, I would leave three splits. So you'd average like 230. And I would pick 80% 80 per, 80 of my makeable spares. Well, yeah, it's about 230. Two, two, yeah, 240 if your spares that you made for 100% are, are that. We're waiting on bowlers. I'm going to bring it into the booth. You guys, can, I'm, I'm in the correct position, so you guys would have to move. Oh, do I need? You okay. guys all want to be on camera. We probably should move that. This is just coat. Don't you, worry, everybody. You're sandwiched right now between two mics. I am. This is a mic sandwich. This is a mic sandwich. Yeah, the Matt's the creamy filling. And you're both right-handed. Well, okay. That makes sense. And I think your stats that you were just explaining now is kind of how I bowled today. So uh, I'm you. 235-ish I have. He did beat me. Uh, he bowled 288 the second game. Yeah, I don't think I'd have a 288 yeah, on got, this. They got messy on the right side for me. The, yeah, 288. Six and seven, he so. bowled. Look. To grind out a three, little bit. Three. Almost beat me. Yeah, three games. Yeah, I was holding my own, you know. Yeah. Are we? Are, what game are we going into? We should be. Six, this should be six. That yeah. so means I have to make a graphic. Yeah. I'm behind on the graphics. Guys. Ah, it's okay. We we. I don't want to make this graphic, but I will. You just have to do sit. Look, look I how easy that was. Uh, oh. Don't oh, let everybody oh. fool you. Okay. Look I, how. I only have to make 21 of them today. <laughs> well, you just a have to and, change. And three practices. You only. You just have to change it. Yeah, well, I gotta click on this. I gotta save it as a PNG. I gotta click this button here. Guys, don't let him fool you. His life click, is not that I, difficult. I gotta click save. Then I gotta go back into the program. I gotta click the plus button over here. Then I gotta <laughs> add a media file. Then I gotta go over here and I gotta put in game six. I gotta hit open. Then I gotta bring it up in the preview screen. And Do you know how long this took you? This is all. Of, look at this. Woo, 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 look, it's just all of a minute. This is six. Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous. It's too much time. So, Mike, what are you feeling about the NFL so far, you know? like Oh, wow, asking about the NFL. I'm just, you know, I figure we're, there's no bowling going on. So yeah, are these, are these is, is there a problem with the switching of the lanes again or just yeah, people behind? Uh, what happened earlier, do you know? Yeah, just the, the score things didn't switch over properly. They're getting a water break. <laughs> so, what you, so, the NFL, you want me to? Yeah, what do you, what do you, how are you feeling so far? Like, you know, like, you know, Dolphins are, you know, 3-0. Oh, well, I, I think. The Chiefs are not very good. And, you know? I think the NFL's in a transition period right now. We. We had the glory days. We had uh, we had Manning. We had yep. Brady, um, Philip Rivers, Ben Roethlisberger, um, Eli Manning, even a little mm -hmm. bit there. So you know, borderline Hall of Famers. We had like six yep. of them at one time, and they're all gone. Most of them. Aaron Rodgers. That, that was a, I think that was a huge blow this year to lose him. That was the like biggest snap three. Yeah, fourth play of the game. I think I think the uh, NFL is wide open. I think the value right now is taking. Uh, Marginal teams. Like, I can't yeah. believe how bad Jacksonville has been. Yeah, that, that for makes, who they have. Yeah, yeah for their no roster. Sister. Yeah, Christian Kirk and uh, Calvin Trevor Ridley. Lawrence, Etienne. I'm just going through receivers oh, okay. right now. Yeah. Ingram. Yeah. And then you got, uh, what's his face? Uh, the, 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 the third wide receiver guy. Not Zay, Zay Jones? Yeah, yeah, Zay, Zay Jones. yeah, the guy that just signed. So they got, yeah. they got Zay Jones. They got. They got three good receivers, and then they've got like a Tank Bigsby's a good running back. 
And they got Ed, Etienne. Mm -hmm. And then I thought Trevor Lawrence is going to take a huge leap Absolutely. this year. After that, how they played last year. And they're what, 0-3? The they they one, they they one and three. Yeah, they yeah, won one the one first week, 1-2. and two. That's terrible. By the way, there's no bowling, everybody. We're talking yeah, NFL Yeah, there's not. Now. Sorry, we're, you know. So that that's surprising to me. Um, I watched that quarterback show on Netflix. I'm almost halfway through. And I think Kirk Cousins, I, I really like Kirk Cousins. I li he's on Dan Patrick's show a lot, so I liked him anyway, but now I really like him. I cannot believe they're 0-3. And I think if, if they go 0-4, I think the Jets are going to sign him. Hey, it's my soon-to-be wife, everybody. Yep, there you go. Say hi to Lauren Payton in the chat. I've seen more posts about you guys getting married, though, yes. and, like, you're still not married. Like, I know. I feel like this thing's just We're starting a GoFundMe for my funding to come live stream our wedding. Yeah, I'm just going to live stream <laughs> <Okay>. the wedding. <laughs> I'll get ordained. I'll just That's you want to marry us? <laughs> yeah, because he wants Mike to do his best man speech right now on air. So we figured he would just get yes, come down. Yes, I can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a surprise. Oh man. Um. Yeah, I, I just NFL. NFL. Back to NFL. Yeah, we were talking yeah. about the NFL. I, you know, I think Buffalo's still gonna be good. Um, See, uh, with Kirk Cousins. Okay, let me go yeah, before. Kirk Cousins. Like, I've been a Kirk Cousins fan since he first came to Minnesota. Um, I think the guy's a fantastic quarterback. You know, a lot of people talk crap about him because, oh, you know, he's not a winner and he can't win, he doesn't make the playoffs, yeah, whatever. But, ready. like, statistically in the NFL, he's one of the top five quarterbacks in the league. And right now he's leading in touchdowns. He's leading in yards. Well, not two is leading in yards, certainly. But his passer rating is in the top three. You know, like, just a really good quarterback. And then watching that show is, like, opening the eyes to people of, like, wow, this, like, yeah. this guy's really technical and – and uh, it's just really – Well, really they good. all prepare. I mean, they, yeah, absolutely. they're all very good. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you the guy I'm kind of rooting for right now. I like these guys that, that – you know, when you get drafted in the NFL, the situation you go into really outweighs your talent mm -hmm. to a degree, right? Like, if Patrick Mahomes would have went to Houston, would we be talking about Patrick Mahomes like we I are? brought up the same thing about two weeks ago. Like, what if Mahomes didn't go to Kansas City? Right, exactly. How good would he be? Right. So what about what about um, Baker Mayfield, right? This guy, yeah. This guy has just been through the gamut, right? He hasn't been in in any sort of winning organization nope. since he's been in the league. And look what he's done with Tampa. I, I, he's yeah, great. He's a you know you know what team I think Baker Mayfield belongs on the way he plays. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. The Kenny, way Mayfield plays. Yeah, I, I think Kenny Pickett's not very good. I, I, I mean, I think they kind of just got stuck with him, unfortunately. Uh, I think they, Mayfield's gritty, man. Yeah, I, I mean, the way he played against the Vikings and the way he played against the first week they played, uh, I don't remember they played the first week, but just just battling it out when they played the Browns. The, they played the Browns? Yeah, when they played the Browns. Yeah, yeah. yeah they just just battling I, I, it out. I don't know. He's got Godwin and Evans, and they don't have much of a running game. They got Rashad White, but – they should use him more. They should throw him the ball more and some check downs. Your Mizzou team's 4-0, 3-0? Yeah, three they and are. Oh. I went to the game last week at, uh, at the Dome. Oh, yeah. you did? I uh, tailgated all day, too. It was pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, so, yeah, I'm watching him right here over on the left monitor I have over here. 17-7 to right now over Vandy. 55 seconds left in the second quarter. And uh, they're probably going to go into halftime here. Vandy's going to try to get into field goal range here. But, uh, yeah, Mizzou's, pl Mizzou's playing well. I think th I, I think it's a little too much hype. Um I can't believe they beat K-State on a 61-yard field That goal. was the craziest thing ever. Mike, do you watch football? Because we are totally hogging this entire no, conversation. Totally fun. I just, like, I keep up with the important games, you know. He is a Steelers fan. He Well, was maybe surprised still. But he, he rooted for the Steelers. Yeah, my, my uncle was a huge Steelers fan, so he, he kind of brought me up. Just just Steelers so everybody knows what we are paying attention. There, there is there – is <laughs> There's no, not oh, really – Tim well, Tim is now bowling. Tim. Oh, Tim. Well, yeah, it's the first shot. First frame, everybody. That was a cool. Mike, you know what transition I liked? I was watching. We were watching. We watched almost all your streams. The one. The RGB one. Yeah, the RGB one. Yeah, we were watching. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can find that again here. Inside. Uh, yeah, we were watching. RGB channels. I, I think that one's great. All right. Well, let's uh, let's just show everybody what it looks like. Look at how cool that is. You like that one. It just adds an effect to it. It, it does add an effect to it. <laughs> does <laughs> there you go there you go <laughs> i just i was explaining to everybody i'm just a bowler all this technical stuff i actually hate this part of the job i don't like it you're just here just because they want you to be here well like it's my brand and i don't mind doing all this but i still when i travel i get anxiety when i unpack everything yeah, i, I you know stuff. geez this plugs into this i wonder if this is gonna work 
Think about how have you ever th- left something at home that you needed, like oh, something dude. important, and oh, you're like, the time. oh no. Shooting the best buy to buy something. I'll tell you what it was two <laughs> weeks ago. It was up in Iowa. Guess guess what I forgot up in Iowa. You probably forgot a microphone, like one of your your soundboard. I forgot my undershirts. Huh. Oh, well, is that important? Yeah. You don't want to just come out here and show some skin? No. <laughs> Open that Adidas jacket a little bit? No. <laughs> no, sir. Undershirts. Um, so did you buy like the five dollar Walmart pack of? I know I didn't. I just. Just let it all hang out. See, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. But you never left, like, your soundboard at home? No, well, so here's one. I was in Erie filming. Oh. Almost. Oh, oh, get get there. Oh. That counts. That counts. Oh, got it. That counts. Whoa. Sorry if we hurt anybody's ears, but that (laughs) counts. Finish him. Finish him. Mike's trying to get it up on replay here. I am. I am. Let's see here. That that was sweet. AJ Rice made the 7-10. The sweep is always so nice. All right, here we go. We're going to do a little half speed series here with the RGB let's channels. See, I've never see. done a replay with RGB <laughs> channels. Come on, Flash. Oh, look oh, how clean, clean that was. Oh, but hold on. Oh, you're, some reason, it's the whole video. It went huh? it went back in time, like back to the future oh, here. Seconds. So this is just going to be like the slowest. Slow We're just going to. Why <laughs> don't we talk like. This. Mike, do you want to bet? I bet you he made 710. <laughs> almost had a 2810 almost picked almost. up over here. Let's see if AJ Rice can pick the 710. <laughs> what a night. Do you Off know if that's break, that sweep was the any slower? Chase. If that replay was any slower. <laughs> Goodness. Mike, here's uh, Kirk and Dallin Wilson are going to be bowling on 33 and 4 in front of us. Oh, yeah, they sure yeah, are. Yeah, we're going to flip to them here. These stores on there are totally wrong, you know, like the na- next to the name, so it's hard to tell if, like, how good they're actually playing, but uh, unless they're going to fit some, but. I'll bring them down there. They're going to be right here. They're not bowling yet, though, huh? Three game sits. This is sits of seven. Yep. You think Cromwell makes a 710 right here? Ooh, I don't know. So your RGB channels have to be have to be changed back to 3D plane for now. But I will I will incorporate it. I will get it back. I think Barron's gonna bounce that 10 pin out for no reason whatsoever. No. Nope. <laughs> All right, Mike. So through six game, well through five games, Ryan Barnes is averaging over 220. He's 118 over. If that score is right, it says he's plus 118. It's probably right. So, yeah, so then he's he's averaging. But, like, I don't think Kirk and Don Wilson are minus 160 right now. No. no so I think not. some of them are on, but they'll get there. Here's Crommel. That was almost a little too hard. You ever think it's, like, too hard at the spare? Dude. To where the pin just, like, lays in the. In the down there, yeah. Dude. Dude. Yes. <laughs> I'm not the only one that feels like that, right? Like where it's too hard at the spare. So this is, I mean, you set this up beautifully. We have Landing we have a tip ready. coming out on Tuesday on the Inside Bowling YouTube channel from Mike Shady. Okay. Talking about throwing at spares and how speed can destroy your spare game. Oh, yeah. Okay. Everybody says throw it hard and straight at your spares. That's become a term in bowling. It's a default term. Oh, go hard and straight at your spares. Go hard and straight at your spares. Go hard and straight at your spares. Why did we ever add the, the word hard to that? Why? Uh, uh, you, I throw, mean, I you, you can throw hard at splits to yes. try to get them to bounce out, but not at your spares. It's all about technique at the spare, because ultimately if your technique is right, it doesn't matter how hard or fast or slow you throw it, it's going to make it. Jason Belmonte is a great spare shooter, mm-hmm. and if you watch him grab his clear bowling ball, he goes up and throws it his normal ball speed at every spare. Right. He does not go up there, start running faster to the line, adjust his mechanics, and just to throw it harder at a 10-pin. It's unnecessary. EJ Tackett this year, and I, I hate to pick on EJ, but this year at the Tournament of Champions, he bowled Belmo for the title. Mm-hmm. EJ left a 3-6-10 in the first frame. 
and you could just watch his feet get quick. Yeah. And his his backswing got he higher. Three, he left that three sets, right? And he went right past it. He took he chopped the six ten off the mm. three six ten. In the fifth frame, I believe, maybe it was the fourth frame, could have been the sixth, sixth frame maybe. He went up on the left lane and left the three six ten and did the exact same thing. Mm. And that's actually the example that we use in this video about when you throw at your spares. You don't have to throw them hard and straight. Straight, yes. Hard, no. I agree. I think sometimes it's too hard at the spare. Yep. Now, I I feel like, and look, I'm not a world-renowned coach or anything, but if you do want to ramp up some ball speed, I feel like where you can generate some extra ball speed and still keep your mechanics the same is accelerating just a little bit more in the last 15% of your entire arm swing. Mm-hmm. I think you can get a couple mile an hour by just accelerating a little more, but it can still cause a bad habit. But, yeah. Can I, can I ask you another loaded question? Yeah. In your eyes, who's player of the year, Simonson or EJ Tackett? EJ Tackett. It's not, there's not even a, there's not even a debate. You take wins over consistency? Yeah, well, yeah. Points. There's a point yeah. scale. I mean, look, here, here's, how you, here, 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 here's how you figure it out. You go to PBA.com. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Mike. Okay, you go to PBA.com. You click on the national tour. Well, it comes down to a vote. Then so you I'm go down, asking, I know. You go to player stats. Okay. You so got fast Wi-Fi in this place. I look, at, I look at three stats. All right. I look at, I look at money. Well, of course, EJ won the most money. Okay. EJ won 439000 Uh Simonson, 336000 that's the first thing I look at. Uh-huh. Second thing I look at is average. EJ Tackett averaged 227.12 for 446 games. Anthony Simonson averaged 225.08 for 488 games. So EJ Tackett is two pins better a game. Mm-hmm. The third thing I look at is titles. EJ had five titles. Simonson had two. End of discussion. It's over. <laughs> he dominates all three categories. He does. He absolutely did. He dominated the three most important categories on the season. He is the player of the year. It is not even close. It is not even a debate. If it's a horse race and the horse finishes the line and the next horse is like five furlongs behind, but they say, oh, but he was neck and neck with them almost the entire race. <laughs> Do, do, do they say, oh, well, wait a minute, Bob. Wait a minute. Let's go back and look at the tape. You know what? He was running good there for a while. <laughs> no, he fell short. You're down a point, Mike. That's, that's it's EJ point. Tackett. You got a period. Point. Points, 41,200. Simonson, 36,265. Not even close. I mean, I, I guess I should sit here and make up a case for Matt Ogle should be player of the year. <laughs> It's not even close. And Simo had a great year. Not, not fantastic. To top, top ten every how, how week. About, how, about, how about this one? That let's, was a sick messenger uh, by Cam. Let's go back to 2022. I don't know if this is the year I want. I want 2021, actually. Eddie, I can't, I can't ready, get Eddie? it. I can't get the standings. No, they they were, switched it over. Unfortunately not. There's a year Bill O'Neill had an unbelievable year. Probably the year he won the players. And 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 Belmo won Player of the Year because Bill O'Neill was didn't do what Belmo did. Yeah, it's the best year Bill O'Neill's ever had, right. and it, he could he could have won Player of the Year other years. Yeah, but just, he didn't because Belmo had that better year. So yeah, no, it's not it's not even close. Yeah. We're having to chase scores. So okay. It's be a bit more okay. Too. I got it. Thanks. Yeah. No, it's not even close. Mike, if you could team up with anybody in this tournament. Like your dream doubles partner. If I had to team up with one person. One person. Dream doubles. Right now. Right now from this event. From this event. Matt Russo. Um, it's, this wouldn't be a dream doubles partner. This would be who would I, who would I want to shoe up with to possibly win the event. To win the event. This is... Uh, and it's not always about talent. Or I think life skill. I think I know the answer to this. I think I know my answer. I think I know my answer. Give me just a second here.
boy. Boy, 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 boy. This is after four. Grab this one. It, it boils down to, to, to two people. Well, actually, mm. All right, boils down to two people. You guys got any guesses on who I'm picking? I'm going to, and this is just because this is the first try I looked at, Cam Crow. No. No. Robarge. Okay. Yeah, I knew it had to be a left-hander. So I'd want I'd <laughs> Ro Robarge or A.J. Rice. All right. All right. Well, I mean, yeah. He's I mean, both pretty well. AJ, A.J. Rice just because I feel like I could feed off of A.J.'s energy a little bit. Mm -hmm. And Spencer, I feel like, is going to be a Hall of Famer on the PBA Tour one day. You're calling it early. Yeah. I called it a couple years ago. Okay. Yeah, he's going to have a Hall of Fame career on the PBA Tour. Is that what he wants to do? Is he want to bowl? I don't know. Oh, okay. I, I, don't, I know. don't know. All right. Well, hey, you heard it first, everybody. I'm just. So if he gets inducted in the Hall of Fame, you better stand up and be like, listen, I called this. I called it two years ago. Well, two years? No, it'll be. Before his Masters show. Before his Masters show. You yeah. did. All right. All right. I like that. I like that. There was a guy in St. Louis by the name of Mike Ramoclis. Yep. I who know absolutely him. crushed all the youth tournaments. Oh, yeah. Just all the records. That dude could have won on tour. He chose a different path, and um, his grandfather died, which kind of oh. lost his uh, – I think it lost his drive to want to be a PBA bowler. He tried a couple things, but if his grandpa would have still been alive, I think he would have won on the PBA tour. Just my opinion. Um Spencer Robarge blew all of Ramoclis' numbers out of the water. Made yeah. Ramoclis look like Simonson this year to EJ. Sp Spencer's uh, thing's broken every youth record possible. And here's the other thing. I think Spencer, I think I think there's there's a few things that Spencer still needs to learn about uh, lane play. Mm -hmm. I think I think there's I think sometimes Spencer uses uses something that, that's not going to give him the easiest path to the pocket. And I think he almost challenges himself. I'm going to do it with this ball and this reaction, even though it's not as good as that other one I have back there. And I think I would say, dude, there's a lot of money on the line. Yeah. Go grab that other ball, please. Yeah, I mean, I think that just comes with learning, obviously, with time just, and learning. Again, and this is just the guy that sits back here and watches bowling. Yeah, you watch 95 hours of bowling every that's week. That's it. You know? And I love like I just told you just told me pick anybody out. I, 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 I just paid the ultimate compliment to Spencer Robarsh. You did right. I'm sitting next to Matt Russo, PBA champion. This guy, uh, rookie of the year, friend. He's in the booth right now. I could have picked him, <laughs> and I didn't. I picked two guys. Well, I wasn't you. looking for you to pick. You know, I know I, you I aren't. Just, I know, just, but you know, you're gonna get the honesty from yeah, me. Yeah, I, I, oh, I, I know. I mean, I I would love to bowl with you. I mean, I don't think that I don't think that those guys are necessarily any better than you right now. I'm just telling you who I think I would bowl, I would get the best out of me. That's right. I don't think you get the best out of me because I think I'd like bowl oh, 215. that is so unfortunate. I think I'd bowl 215. You'd come over and be like, hey, Mike, it's okay, man. It's all right, man. And now, think, you know I think, what I actually I, say? I think these other dudes might get pissed. No, I, I actually say, like, like, like we, bowled a, we bowled the one game, and I had 257, and I think Mike had, like, 2-0 or 2 teen, and I said, I'm sorry, Mike. He's like, no, nah, man, it's all good. And I'm like, you know, like, uh, it's like on me to, like, not bowl 300. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you feel like you got it and you're not bowling 300 and you're like, man, you know? But you think Holloman makes a 710? What do you think? Uh, 33. No. I'm going to switch things up here. Oh, we got a. Uh... Nope. Nope. Now, if you ask me the question, hey, Mike, you need you need somebody that can bowl for 24 hours and they have to throw 36 strikes in a row at some point, otherwise you're going to die. <laughs> I'd probably pick Holloman. Dude, tried slot when he just lined up. Right. Yeah, I see. I can see that. Right. I can see that. 
Stretch lock. I might pick him. Where's Boog Kroll? Is he bowling tonight? Uh, there's a. Uh, well, I know there's two regionals in like uh, the Southwest. So he bowled the sweeper last night. And oh, left. he did? Yeah. Oh, then he maybe he's bowling tonight. I don't know. Yeah. There's no regionals, I don't think. Well, there's a regional in the Midwest. It's in uh, Illinois, I think. Corkeese right there with a nice strike. I just want to give him a shout out. Nice guy. They bowled, they bowled nets to us this morning. Yeah, he, he runs the Nightmare Doubles. Oh, okay. Be streaming that next month. Yeah. Matt, you watched me bowl a little bit. You kicked my butt. And by the way, the footage is on the camera looked terrible. That's why I didn't put it out. It wasn't yeah, I've been waiting for it since no, Holiday Doubles no, last year. I know, I know. Are it, you sure? Yeah. Are we going to run it back? It was, yeah, that's fine. You'll, you'll kill me. But uh, now that you do videos out of Shrewsbury, you know that I'm there every morning. Yeah, but you weren't. You weren't that day that I filmed. Well, Orf told me you were coming, and I didn't. Show well, up. that makes sense. You know? That makes sense. So you, you didn't watch the Strike Challenge video? I haven't watched it yet. I've been trying to watch. I haven't watched any of the other ones either, but. Uh, did you win? By one, yeah. You won by one? Yeah, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you a few shots here up here in the booth of me bowling. Yeah, let's. And you can you can tell me where I need to get better. Were you throwing a critical mass? No, I. Ha uh. ha there's my two balls. Oh, right there's your there. MVP tour. All right. Oh, yeah. and you're on the low end. Yeah. And Andrew told me that this was the uh, the worst pair for him in the house. Once once we started. Well, throwing a hustle. So, so I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go to our sequence where we start really striking. Here. So this is first of 50 in two minutes, right? Yep, there's me. Look at you hitting on it. Oh, yeah, I hit up on it terribly bad. No, you're <laughs> you're hitting it. Look at it, spraying it everywhere. Well, you guys are tripping force. Yeah, 30. That was a good one, Mike. I like that one. Andrew did, too. <laughs> yeah, that one wasn't so far in front of you when you let go of it. See? I think your release point would be a little bit further. I agree. Like, closer to you. I agree. But, uh, like, that one was really good, too. I, I don't slide. I don't slide. That could be why. I that know. There's no, like, generation of momentum. No. Nope. You're so far from the line. I know. It's terrible. You were a two? It's just. Or you I, plant. I, You've always been a planter? No. I started planting when I got old. You're not old. Dude, my, my legs, man. But yeah, I do. I plant. Those are the shots. I spray. Oh. Uh, I sprayed oil in the middle of the lane. What do you mean you sprayed? Oil? Is that what you did? I'll you show, just show you in a second. Okay. Yeah, that was all right. That one you got your hand around really around it. Yeah. So. I like the black and white touch. Yeah, that's just for that. Just for that section. So then Orf strikes here, and then I basically tell him that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this one here. Out of my way. I got it. Well, this is for 49. One more time, sweetness, right there. <laughs> and then, uh, and then or, or watch this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. And you let Orf throw the one for. Uh, yeah, I took my shoes off. I said, I'm out of here. That's all on you now, pal. That's it. And then he came over to my lane. But, but here's. So here I am bowling on the St. Louis house shot, going high. So I had to go out and oil him. I went out and oiled him myself. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is That's fantastic. Lenny would be proud of you. Lenny would oh, be yeah. proud. Yeah. Lenny would the, be proud. The original nickel man. So, anyway, that's uh, – we got some questions coming in here. Mark Birkenbein's in the chat. What's up, Mark? It's been a long time. Bear agrees with me on the uh, – Remarkless. Hey, Kevin, I don't know if you were here when I was talking to Matt earlier. Kevin's the one that brought that to the Kevin attention. Kevin Herbert. About, about, yeah, about what's up, Kevin? It's A Bear. A Bear. Sorry. But that's all right. Uh, and he, ra he, he was the one who was talking about you raising your, uh, all right. your, your uh, yeah, setup Kev position. Kevin's been following. Thank you. Let's see. Question for Matt. Great bowling so far. How has, how has being around Parker Bone made you a better bowler? Oh God, I I, I think uh, being around Parker Bone has made me uh, basically half of the bowler I am today. I mean, I know I'm two-handed, and uh, you know our styles are just a little bit different. But I just think the way that I try and convey myself on the lanes, and the way that I kind of see the game, and 
you know, the things that I worked on and just the things that we talked to him about. I, you know, he's done it for 30 some years and, you know, arguably the best left hander to ever throw it. And, uh, you know, just being able to, to talk to him and uh, he's been there when I won my first title and, you know, throughout all of my success. So it's just kind of made me see the game differently and, and kind of have more patience to it and just really enjoy it. You know, like not putting so much pressure on myself that I have to cash every week or, you know, win every week or always have my best. And uh, how he reacts to the tough times is kind of what I've carried forward as far as, you know, just working through it and learning from it and, you know, just coming back better next time. And I think uh, without him and his support, I, I don't think I'd know half the stuff that I do. And it's crazy. An idol of mine since I was a young kid to be able to call him a second father is, uh, you know, pretty, pretty awesome. So I think it's definitely helped very much. Uh, for my career and for my game and uh, just being able to share the lane with him as well as was fantastic yeah he's all right all right let's uh, <laughs> yeah let's, that's let's, a, uh, <laughs> no, no, he's all right no he's I, I got a I got a hour-long conversation with him on my YouTube channel that uh, I sat down with him and uh, he is he is bowling true and all throughout. I asked him. I said, "Oh, what, what's something on your on your bucket list? You know, you'd like to do in life? You know, before the good Lord comes down and says it's your time." And he couldn't he couldn't even get out of bowling. Like I was like I was waiting for him to say like, "Oh, I want to star in a movie or you know I want to go to Jamaica or world around around <laughs> the world you know travel thing." He goes, I guess when PBA 50 Player of the Year. And that was <laughs> before he won yeah, everything? Yeah, well before. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, here we go. Uh, standings, 25-72, the, the number right now, the leading this squad, and it's Crow and Stubler. Imagine that. They're both left-handed. All right. Um, <laughs> Not you hating on the left right I don't, now. I don't hate. <laughs> I don't hate. I'm just stating facts. Stating facts. All right. All right. All right. All right Kennedy and Cryer uh, are in second at 25-39. Uh, Cruz and Martin are in third at 24.85. Barrett and Rice next at 2,400. Zach Wilkins and Farrell Williams are at 23.64. Freed and Jennings at 23.48. Thompson and Holloman at 23.46. Albrecht and Holloman at 23.43. Robarge and Barnes, after bowling 500, they bowl 495. Now they're up to 23.31. Kevin Williams, Casey Murphy making a charge. They just bowled 526 or 2325. Wilson and Kirkendall at 2323. Galbraith and Bonta at 2317. Ralston and Ennis at 2307. Crummel and Doyle at 2285. Wynn and Lofton at 2266, along with Lane and Curtis. And at 2236 is Zeke Bate and Tyron McKinney. Uh, that's, the, that's the number one page here. Let's see who's who's leading uh, singles. 1295 Cam Crow, 1277 Nate Stubler, 1285 Brandon Cryer, 1268 Dimitri Cruz. Cruz and uh, Kendall just bowled 501. Robars and Barnes bowled 407. So eight eight spots off this squad if it's squad equality. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twenty-three forty-three. So three hundred and forty-three over. Three hundred and forty-three. So if you take three forty-three. After five, right? Yeah, just yep. not combined. Three forty three. Three forty three divided by five times seven will be four hundred and eighty over. Last year it took 472 to make it. Yep, and I'm predicting 492 this year. It took 472 to make it last year. Yep. Oh, I thought I was like three. I made the cut and I thought I was. We were 380 something. Maybe we were 480 something. We were 480 something. You're right. You're right, Mike. You're always right. When I'm not, read above. <laughs> I guess I gotta make a graphic for this last game. All this work I put in to do these broadcasts, it's kind of getting old. Uh, Mike, let me ask you a question. Yo! I saw a comment in the chat before asking about, somebody was asking to explain how the Calcutta works. Have you have you spoken uh, about that yet? Uh, no, not really. Um, 
Good question. Um, yeah, we can circle back to that one if they're still listening. Uh, basically, it's a um, auction style bid on the teams and they pay out a certain percentage to first, second, third, fourth. It's a side prize pool. So if you buy a couple of donks for 400 bucks and uh, you know, they end up doing well in the tournament, you know, you get a you get a certain percentage of the first place prize if they win the tournament. Chunk, yeah. Even though you only paid 400 for them as opposed to another team that may cost 3,000 your investment and then when you bid it's normally people in the gallery bid the bowlers bid as well but the bowlers always have the right to buy half of themselves or two thirds in a, in a doubles tournament okay. so 33% 33% and then the backer would get 33% but everybody's equally huh. invested or, or, the, or the bowlers can say I don't want any piece of this that's on you pal <laughs> That's on you, buddy. All right. But bowlers are so cocky and have these egos huh. that they definitely want to buy themselves. So that's what happens. So that's how the Calcutta works. I usually don't talk about them, but I did start talking about it with Kevin earlier today because it is such a large one, this event. But I usually refrain from talking about them. But I totally let that can out of the bag earlier today. So it is what it is. All right, so we are, uh, uh, who we got left here? I guess we can go into game seven now. And my guys here, Kirkendall and Wilson. I see it now, I, got, I bought these two teams, so I gotta go petition them. You guys really should re-enter. <laughs> well, yeah, you especially if I mean? you don't lose any money. Well, even if they're in the cut. Yeah, that is true. I want them to improve their position. That is true. That so is I'm just going to go, hey, Zeke, I think you guys got a lot out there left. <laughs> I realize you're both right-handed and you're at a complete disadvantage, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way to start. Hey, you're both right-handed, so you don't have the same advantage as the other guys. But. <laughs> and I'm just I'm just kidding. Uh, holiday doubles, the lefties light them up, too. But, but But right-handers end up winning the tournament. You know, and I, I had that same conversation with somebody at lunch today, and, uh, you know, I heard some people complaining about the left. And, yeah, you know, there's and, no reason to complain yeah. about it. And I was like, well, let's talk about how many times the righties end up winning the tournament, and then they forget about how good the left was. Exactly. They're like, yeah, you know, just some righties. You know, so it's – I just tell them that they should have picked the left hand in a bowl with them. That's all. They're easy on both sides. I agree. They really are. I mean, they're – I, mean, I could I could average 260 on this. I mean, this is so easy. Just kick it down the lane. You got it, Mike. Yep. I'd like to see it. Me too. How many games would it take you to bowl 260? Oh, I don't know about that. More than seven? No, I, I don't know. I got you in four. I don't, I don't like to set those high numbers out there like that. Do you know that if you miss four <laughs> times in the first four frames, you can't, you, you just can't do it. Yeah. So math yeah. doesn't add up. No pressure. But you can also have the front seven and not bowl 260. Then you know how many ways there is to not bowl that? Uh, I know. So, yeah, it's hard. 260, yeah. It's a lot. It's a tough score. What would you average today, 262? Uh, 257 with 216 in the last game. Oh, okay. Those damn you, eight pins. You were at 260-something going I into was, the last like game. I was, like 67 or, yeah. 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 I'll take my 235 for the day, you know. Content yeah. with that. Don't have to worry about reentering. Yeah, you know. Give my hip a break. Yeah, that's that's a that's a good one too. <laughs> get to uh, ball rep tonight. The wife is going to re-enter with her partner, and uh, we're going to get him in the cut. So, okay, that is the plan. You're saying 490? Well, that's what I think. Yeah, I mean it. it you know, it's not a number that we want to. Yeah, I can see. Oh, yeah. This I one, this one's tough. This number. one's tough to kind of, kind of come up with. Only because we don't know how many they're going to take. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you guys about this. I haven't talked to anybody about this on the air. So. 
I don't I don't bowl competitively at all anymore. I just don't. Um, it's kind of really one of the last things I want to do. Um, I spend so much time in a bowling center. My buddy Steve Orff's like, oh, when you move back to St. Louis, you're going to be up at Concord like every Friday night watching everybody bowl, talking <laughs> to everybody. And I go, Steve, you, you, you really don't get it. You don't you don't understand. No, I won't. Um, I spend enough time. I mean, it's just it's enough. It's enough, right? So Tom Hess was all over me trying to get me to go bowl nationals this year with him. He's like, bowl nationals with me, bowl nationals with me. I'm like, Tom, I don't bowl anymore, dude. Like, you, you really don't want me to bowl nationals. And he just kept on it. Finally, I'm like, okay, all right, I'm in. So I practiced for like a week, a lot. And I got out there and I bowled the Bowler's Journal four times. Okay. Now, I didn't realize this until like three days before I went. But as I'm filling out all the stuff, I'm in the standard division. Yeah, you're in the lower division. I'm in the middle division. Oh, yeah, because of the average. Because of my last 20 of course. seven games at the tournament. Did you because I went Because I showed up with two balls. <laughs> I showed up with two balls for like the last three times I bowled, just <laughs> bowling with people. Did you do all in in brackets? Well, I got a, ba a backer wanted to put me in everything. So I got in everything. And you trust him. Okay, well, hold on. Hold on. So uh, you're the guy that had made 30. No, oh, okay. no. <laughs> Lane's just turned off around the entire bowling center, and they're trying to say inside bowling's responsible for it. Look at the look at the what banners up there. Inside bowling turned off the lanes. Thanks, Enterprise Park. There's only one pair still on, and it's the one we have on right here. All the other pairs just shut off yeah, mid game. Having a, having a little issue yeah, this has been this is a problem. So anyway, back back to me. Uh, so I'm, I found out I'm in the standard division. We do the all-in button, and I'm bowling on a pair with Walter Ray, Curtis Odom, Tom Hess, um, and a whole bunch of other good bowlers, John Huff squad, group, whatever. And I'm just, I just don't want to make a fool out of myself, okay? <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, team event this year was soft. Oh, my God. Because I bowled 6'10". You bowled good. Very consistent 6'10". Good uh -huh. score. And I, I, we had a huge gallery behind us, and I can't tell you how many people were, like, talking to me. Oh, man, you throw it good. Oh, my God, I had no <laughs> idea how good you throw it. and all that. I'm like, no, thank you, but no, I don't. I missed, like, four makeables, you know, oh, no. everything. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm not making spares out there. Are you kidding me? I can't even get to the line the same way twice. So, needless to say, I I absolutely run them over in the in the standard brackets. I had 180 something the second game, but I struck out for it. 180 something, okay? I run them over like 4x. Nice. Okay. 4x. 4x on on and I'm all in on the season longs too. Oh, wow. Dude, all in. So you probably mopped them. Oh god. It's yeah. all out there for the world to see. They're going to let you bowl again. Okay, so singles and doubles. And I'm not feeling cocky or anything. Yeah. But I'm like, all right, I just need to just bowl 170 a game here. I bowled so bad in singles and doubles. I gave Hess like 420. Oh, no. Oh, it was bad. I was bowling with a, with a guy who's awesome. He was throwing urethane. But I, I've never been part of this urethane carry down thing that of happens course. in bowling. I, I, have, I haven't ever seen this <laughs> ever in my life. I've called it on air. But, oh, my God, my ball would not hook. I could not get my ball to hook down lane. <laughs> so, eventually, I had to move into, like, 25 and slow hook the whole lane like turtle speed. I bowled like 220 in the second game of like singles, but oh my god. Anyway, so I lost money in those two sets, even in the standard division. But I'm eligible to bowl the standard division again next year. Oh, so you're gonna whop? You're gonna whop them again? Well, I'm gonna be putting out more YouTube videos, and I'm gonna keep doing my thing. But here's the thing: if I join a league, you can't do it. I can't. I can't bowl yeah, that I don't division. Blame you. Don't join the league. So, and I haven't even signed up to bowl with these guys again. So I don't know if I'm bowling, but I think there's a huge opportunity here for me to go out there and try to make some money this year again, even I, even though I marginally made money this year. I made money. 
I got back all my money in the first set. So anything that I got the other ones was the profit. I don't. But I think they're going to change the rule. I think you don't bowl league and you just take your chances. I don't know. But I was third high on the pair in team event with all those guys. Which was kind of cool. Well, yeah, we, especially with who you're bowling with. You bowled good. That was pretty cool. That That's was. Definitely. What do you think of Missouri, Mike? Is this your first time here? No, I've been here uh, a handful of times, actually. I thought you didn't get out of the state and do anything and bowl big tournaments. Last time I bowled out here was uh, the 2021, right? Yeah, we bowled Springfield Doubles together in 21. Oh, did you? Um, but I've, okay. I've come out to just to visit and uh, just hang out for, for a couple days. Non-bowling related, you know. Yeah. So. Won the state Masters this past year. I did indeed, New Jersey State Masters. Really? Yeah. yeah that are was are on, you a doubles uh, fan? Um, yeah, for the most part. I've been a doubles fan for a long time. You're a blues yeah, fan. I enjoy, right? I enjoy game, live games. Uh, I am a diehard blues fan, <laughs> but we lost Scott Stevens to the Devils. That's fair. And then Scott Stevens went on to win like five cups. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Because an arbitrator said happens. we can't sign... Brendan Shanahan at the time, so they gave the Devils Scott Stevens because we signed Brendan Shanahan. Oh, that's fair. That's ridiculous. That it's one of the most fair. ridiculous things. That's why the Blues franchise has been cursed all these years. Like they, nothing could go right. And then mean, they win the cup. Finally, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brr. That's brutal. But anyway, no, I, I, I Martin Brodeur. Martin Brodeur. I, I when I was legend. when I was a kid. I collected sports cards, and I took a long break, and now I kind of do it now again. But uh, I actually had my dad take me to the hobby shop, card shop, and I bought all the Martin Brodeur rookies that the guy had, the score rookies and the upper deck rookies, because they used to open tons of wax back then. Yeah. And you could go in and say, I need to fill my set. Give me one of this card or whatever. I had my dad buy me every Martin Brodeur rookie before nice. he even played a game in the NHL. Wow. And now look at it. Yeah, they're, uh, they were mass-produced, so they're not worth course, hardly anything. Much, yeah. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is I could scout Martin Brodeur was going to be amazing when I was like – that was 1990 score, so I was 11 year, 12 years old. <laughs> I was 12 years old and said, Dad, let's go down to the hobby shop. Intuition. I want to buy every single Martin Brodeur. Because <laughs> uh, hockey was my favorite – our goalie was my favorite position in hockey. Still is. Yeah, he was, uh, he was good at what he did, definitely. I'll tell you another crazy thing here. My favorite players ever, Martin, Martin Brodeur is one of them. Uh, Will Clark from uh, the San Francisco Giants, uh, favorite baseball player. Both of those players finished their careers in St. Louis for like a final victory lap. Okay, well. Which was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark McGuire got hurt, and they signed Will Clark. Will Clark played first base for the rest of the season. And then uh, Martin Brodeur, uh, the very last season he ever played, he played half a year with the Blues. Wow. His, you know, Martin Brodeur's very last game he ever played in the NHL was a shutout for the Blues. Was it really? Yeah, that was it. It was crazy. Huh? Somebody asked earlier uh, during the first block, what are my hobbies? Well, I think you just got the answer <laughs> to the question during this block. That's it. <laughs> Matt stepped out. It's just Mike and Mike here in the booth. Mike and Mike. When you go, uh, when you go um, and get like order takeout or anything like that, or you know, you go to like a any sort of place where they call your name out, you know, your your orders ready. Type oh yeah, thing. yeah. Do you ever give them a different name? No, never. Usually I do. I, give I them do. Mike and and about six people turn around. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I I do give a different name. That's not a bad idea. I do it all the time. That. Yeah, Ab Abdul is what <laughs> I normally give. Oh, they go, Abdul, your order's ready? And yeah, I go yeah. walking up. I don't have any problem at all. Because <laughs> I just got tired of it. Mike, your order's ready. Got seven of us go yeah, running up there. Yep. I'm just tired of it. <laughs> so now I use Abdul. That's a good name, you know. What's the update on the uh, Vanderbilt game over here? Uh, Mizzou's up 24-7 to right now. Uh, Vandy's going to give the ball back to Mizzou. 
This, this Luther Burden's really been playing well. As soon as you say something, the thing locks up yeah, over of course. here. Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice work over there. So much for that Wi-Fi. La last time you were in this booth. <laughs> That's our exit. All right, yeah, thanks for listening okay. to us. All right, thanks, Mike. <laughs> Go see what's going on down there. Uh, people are halfway through seven here. People are still in the first couple of frames. I do want to welcome in everybody uh, into, uh, into into our chat room here, and thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed to our channel, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and uh, ring the notification bell. I don't ask for that enough. You need to wear it on your shirt. Yeah, we are approaching <laughs> 80,000 subs here. Nice. Yeah, it's getting... Yeah, we're getting uh, we're getting in the trenches here, trying to get to that 100K, man. I want that Google Play button. That's a goal. Yeah. It's like a bowler's first PBA title. 100K. Put in the work, you eventually get it, right, Matt? Yes, sir. Just gotta know when it's coming, Mike. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't put in work anymore. I play <laughs> the finish him over and over again for five minutes. <laughs> Think you're gonna do anything for uh, for a hundred K celebration? Darren, your order's ready. You know, make Maybe. fun out of it. If I ever get there, yeah. yeah. I gotta put out content. Then you should give away a Mike planning and bobblehead. That's not a bad idea. Okay. I just want Mike planning and bobbing Bobble, on my yeah. desk every day. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. I would think one of those teddy bears where you pull it and then he says something would be better. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Spencer Robards is the best bowler in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Hall of Famer right here. Future Hall of Famer. Pete Weber is the greatest of all time. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Jared. Oh, oh he's oh, he into loves it. it. Jared's a funny guy. I mean. so this is where if I had a producer, I could say, hey, bring me up uh, some sort of dance song and then put that on repeat back and forth and loop it. It would not be the Mortal Kombat or whatever. <laughs> no, finish him, finish, finish him. <laughs> That's all it was over and over again? Over and finish over him, again. Yeah. Oh, man. I, yeah. Loud, too. Like, you couldn't even hear me. <laughs> I ran over, and I went over the standings. I did everything. Oops. So, folks, this is game seven on the right side of your screen and left side of your screen, even though it is different color scoreboards. And the totals, I believe, are completely whacked. They're they're done. They are whacked. Kendall Martin there. Jace, you order ready, Jace. Oh, what a I'll Brooklyn. take that. Donnie Wilson, 228 or 6. What is that? 6. 6, six yeah. Okay. Six. My eyes are really starting to fail. Um, and Kirkendall can still bowl 246. What can these guys get to? That's, that's pretty good there for Spencer. Well, I, I do, before we get too far ahead here, I do appreciate you guys wanting to hop in. So much easier doing this up here with a couple of guys, especially when you start asking me about things that have nothing to do with bowling. <laughs> I think this is going to be the final game for me, Mike. I'm going to go talk. Well, I would hope so. It's going to be the final game for me as well. This is seven? This is seven. I thought this was six. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. Then we're all on the same page here. Well, maybe, maybe it's not seven. I don't six know. Six and I, a half. I thought it was... I don't know. Maybe you got me seven. so confused. I'm so right confused now. right now too. It might be game six. It's game six because six? 372 over was the leader after five. Yeah. They don't. They just didn't, no 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 no. They just didn't give us the scores. Sorry, this is seven. They didn't give us the scores yet. Are these people gonna take off their shoes and put their bowling balls away? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, they are. Jesus, Matt. <laughs> you know what? Killing me. I already screwed up twice on this block. Now this would be three Finish times. Him. Finish, Finish him. him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I 
Man, I don't like that open frame there. No, I think uh, Robards and Barnes might have to re-enter if they want to make it. They just bowled 4-0, and I mean, they can still bowl 480. Yeah. But uh, not quite sure if that's going to be enough here. Nice game here, though, from, from Holloman. Where were they at? Oh, this is after Jared, five. Jared Thompson and Michael Holloman, yeah. Yeah, they had 340 sits over, so that's 460, 70 over. Plus a game. Plus a game, so they probably got to 550 if they bowled 470, you know. Let's say they got to 550. Good score. A lot of assumptions there, but yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm following that logic. Matt, you were putting me on the spot of who I, who I would want to bowl with. Out of all the broadcaster streamers mm -hmm. out there, yeah. em Emil, Jason Thomas, me, I guess Jeff Goodger you'd put in there, Craig mm -hmm. Elliott, mm -hmm. Chase Kaufman, um, Brian, Aaron Smith. Brian Kane, Aaron Smith. I'm um, just trying to get the whole repertoire of people. I thought you were going to let me pit from anybody, like, ever in the entire like sporting industry because I, I do have like a one of the sporting industry no this I, is this no 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 what I was going to ask is if you had to come bowl this tournament next year yeah with a streaming guy with a streaming guy who who would you bowl who would you bowl with Mike Flanagan are you sure it's yeah. that easy <laughs> yeah it's that easy you don't think it would be uh, like a meal or something like that or Chase no Ca because Chase I know it's pretty good because I know if I started bowling back you would you would talk crap to me and I'd have to bowl better so you wouldn't beat me and we bowled, yeah, it'd be motivation. <laughs> like when we bowled each other before Holiday Devils and you said you were going to smack me yeah, and, and I bowled you, 279. Yeah, and it should have been 300. Yeah, <laughs> so that's what I'm talking Like that's why I'd bowl with you. You would give me so much smack talk that I couldn't let you. Because here's what would happen, right? It'd be on the live stream, right? We'd be bowling together. You would beat me a game. You would take the clip. You'd put it all over your 80,000 <laughs> subscribers to see. And then, you know, my, my career would be done. That, you know, so I just, just some motivation right there. Okay. Fair enough. I, I'd probably pick Chase Kaufman. He's just removed from col yes. college bowling, two-hander. Those, yeah. those are good. Happened to beat Chase's team my uh, senior year to win a national title. There you go, a little humble brag. Yeah, humble Chase is a good brag. guy. Chase is a he good is. guy. He is. I like him too. Oh, he almost oh. missed the head pin twice. One to the left and one to the right. Yeah, I don't know what this number is going to get to. I really don't. How many entries do you think we'll have for the last block? I think it'll be about, well, with, with re entries or without? With. Probably 30. You think so? 30 or I think there's going to be like 30 or 40. I can see it being full. And the only reason why I say that is because I think there's good teams that aren't going to be close to that number that are going to yeah. want to bowl again. You know, like, that's the only reason why I say probably 30. We had ni 19 uh, teams on the first squad. There's 51 total entries right now. Yep. <laughs> the next squad starts at 6.30, I believe. Or is it six? I think it's. I don't even know. You know what? I don't you have to what? worry about it. I have a graphic. Quick re oil. I mean. Six. Yeah, quick. It, it won't start at six. Probably six thirty ish. Yeah, six fifteen maybe. Do they uh, they run one machine here? Or do they have two gone before? Like I don't machines? know. One machine. One machine. Yep. Getting a little cliffy. If anybody notices, <laughs> all right, give. Uh, we got a new guest here in the booth. Let's uh, let's let's um, play the guessing game. Yeah, how do how do we get the audience to guess who it is? Um, 
new new guest, um, tell everybody where you're from. Chattanooga, Tennessee. All right, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Who is it? <laughs> Let's see here. Chattanooga. You guys are re-entering, obviously, right? Yeah. Squad? yeah. You guys are, are going to re-enter? Yes, what did you guys finish at? Uh, we only went like 260-something over as a team. It was a little rough. All right, tell people who your partner was. Jake DeVoe. Oh, that's a giveaway right there. All right, well, come on. Who is it, everybody? <laughs> so do you and Jake DeVoe have a game plan going into C-Squad? Uh, yeah, Jake threw the wrong ball the first two games. He bowled 188, 186. You think he threw the wrong ball? Yeah, and he kind of played a little bit of the wrong part of the line. He tried to shape it with a black venom a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I watched. We, we followed you guys, and I watched that. I was trying to but you, but, but you crushed him with 215, 217. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, I waxed him, man. Uh, yeah, no, I also brought two, new, two new balls in. I brought a Game Breaker 2 in and a GB4 hybrid. Bobby Bryant wins. CJ Petrin here in the there booth. There he is. Oh, yeah. You bowled 1573. Jake bowled 1493. Yeah, as we move further right in the house, um, the line's got a little bit trickier. So I agree. We we got down to this high end and it was uh, it was kind of sloppy. Yeah, especially this pair right here, 35 and 36. Yeah, yeah. 35 just kept hooking and hooking, and I was like, mm, couldn't move far enough left. So you you're going in with the same plan. He's gonna he's gonna change it up, change the arsenal up. Yeah, I'm going to try a couple different balls with some surfaces as well. Right. Um, mess around with it a little bit more. I didn't touch anything when we got in here. Okay. A little tired walking in at 8.30. Oh, definitely, yeah. So, Folks, uh, right. programming note here real quick. Uh, I've just been informed that we have a lane breakdown. There's a motor issue, oh. and uh, one team is in the second frame of the sixth game. Oh, man. So uh, we will go off the air when we're finished here, uh, but our squad tonight is not going to start until well into 7 o'clock. Just to let everybody know. Motor problems. That doesn't sound very fun. Yep. I actually think I can go into the scheduling program. I believe I can change. Can't you go and fix them? I could. I could. If, if they need a hand, I might be able to uh, yeah, throw a pair of gloves on and help them out back there. I think I got 82 seconds here. I'm familiar with the AMF machines. You guys are well into tomorrow, so. I'm yeah, in, I'm I'm into the, I, I like the A2s. See, I, I look at A2s and they, not that they intimidate me, but I learned on uh, 82 30s, so. Okay. Those 30s are, they were just so simple to, to learn on, and those things are workhorses, man, if you, you keep up on the maintenance. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I work on, uh, I have GSXs as well. And I'm um, familiar with the, the new NS, NXTs. Yeah. So I have uh, I'm a, a little bit of everything. Aside from the older Brunswick stuff, I'm, I'm not familiar with the A2s. I like the way they sound, though, from the front of the center. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's like the pingy high pitch noises. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not good for filming, though. No, 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 no. That's another thing coming from uh, coming from working on machines. When I'm when I'm out here bowling, I'll hear a squeaky belt or a clunky roller or something in the back, and it's all I'm paying attention to while yeah. I'm up there. Yeah. That's all I'm paying attention to. Oh yeah, and he's watching the Tennessee college football team. Oh yeah. Here. Vanderbilt. He's got it set up here. Well, I'm watching Mizzou. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, Vanderbilt's not really putting much of a fight. No, but they just completed a pretty long catch here. So they're in the second frame of game six. Mm-hmm. Down there, yeah. I wonder, uh, oh, did they move them or? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're, I, I think they got them bowling now, but uh, made some sort of an adjustment yeah. there. Yeah. It happens. It sure does. You guys know where you start yet? Uh, no. Nah. Well, no. Not yet. They said they're going to have at least 30 teams, they were telling me. Are you bringing inside bowling to Nightmare Doubles? Yep, yep. You going to that one? Yep. Because I remember seeing you there last year. 
Yeah, I'll be there again. I got a quick. I got a quick turnaround. I I'm getting there, but I'm gonna be smoke coming off my tires in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm busy on Friday until four in Dallas, and I can't get there. I'll fly in around seven. And I got somebody bringing my live stream equipment. So it's definitely going to be a uh, quick turnaround there. When is this event? It is. Oh. And it's, it's in this area? or It's in uh, Memphis. Who do you, you bought with Jake again? Yeah. Yeah. At Andy B's Bartlett. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look when it is. It is the 14th and 15th of October. October. Okay, a couple of weeks. Yeah. Similar format, is it? Yeah, it's. Uh, I know it's eight games of qualifying games, instead yeah. of seven. Yep. And then I think it's top 12 make it into Sunday. All right. But there's no re-enters like yeah. this tournament. It's one and done. Yeah. Yep, big enough center here that uh, re-entries are, are a good thing for this event. Absolutely. Yeah, because some people don't see it until later in the block, and, you know, they, they can go into, a, into the re-entry squad with a little different game plan. Yep. So. Remember when I first when I first pulled this event in 21 with Russo, we, uh, we pulled B squad, and and didn't, didn't put up a big enough number, and we re-entered. So seven games back-to-back -back is a lot. Definitely and you bowled with us. That, that yeah, we did, yeah. That re-enter squad. But, uh, that's a lot of bowling. I'm looking forward to tomorrow, though. Uh, TQ in the chat says there are re-entries in the Nightmare Doubles. Oh, oh this year they might So be. maybe there was a year that they didn't. I think they only ran two squads one year. I don't remember. First year, maybe maybe we only ran two squads. John, your order. We were we were at high jinks, and then we went somewhere else, right? And yeah. Then, and then Andy B's. Was it Smyrna? No, I don't remember. I'm losing it. I can't. <laughs> TQ will fill me in in the chat. He'll know in just a second. They didn't bring in after six yet, right? No, they won't because that team's still oh, down there. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah. Sheesh. Bowlers, well, if some of you are finishing your seventh game, if you will turn your score sheets into the bracket counter, we would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome. So 214, 235 here posted, 227, 213. We got 231 for Cam Crow. 201 is all for Matt Nate Stubler here this last game. We got uh, 224 posted on the board, and Chris Ennis can still bowl 235. No, the arrows are flopped. Nate Stubler can actually shoot the 235. Oh, you're right. My bad. I did not see the arrows. Thank you for that. So 234, 235. I, they're going to tie 234 apiece. I just know they will. Chris Ennis can finish with uh, 201 with his partner, 231. I'm, I, I get used to the, 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 the things swapping. Yeah, yeah, man. Monitors. There should be a universal automatic scoring, like, rules that have to happen. Yeah, you think. Like, sometimes in some centers, when, when the player is up, they're not highlighted. Yeah. They're dark. Right now, they're highlighted. You know, it's like it's just tough to. Oh, come on, Stubler. <laughs> Crumble the bucket and the seven pin, why don't you? Do we know what happened with uh, when all the lanes went off? Just a uh, switch around scoring scheduler malfunction. Hmm. I don't think that's the official name for it, but it's close. Is the center just running the scores? or? Is yeah, it, it, uh, it, this where's, is uh, where's this Rick Barbera when you need him. Well, right. <laughs> right, yeah. Rick, yep. Rick, Rick <laughs> takes care of all that. He's the master. Here's the thing. This system must not be, like, dummy proof. Because you see Rick Barbera at every major event. Yeah. And he's always got to fix a thing here or there, yeah. right? So if it just ran by itself, like clockwork, Rick wouldn't really necessarily need, yeah, need to be there, story. right? Yeah. 
Now, and that's not me ripping on this. This is wonderful technology, and I'm sure it's just a user error here or there or something that you do wrong. I mean, you got to input so much stuff. I mean, I played finish them for five minutes on the air earlier today. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm sure this stuff, you key in one thing wrong. Next yep. thing you know, it's all haywire and you're screwed. But All right, well, CJ, thanks for coming. Mike, thanks for coming by as yeah, well. Yeah, thanks for having Thank you. This broadcast Appreciate is officially uh, concluding. So good luck the rest of the way. Uh, good luck on your reentry tonight. And, Mike, uh, get some sleep. And you and Matt come in and uh, try to make a run at it tomorrow. Yes, sir. That so, is the plan. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. It's CJ Petrin and uh, – the other player named Mike. All right, uh, that's going to do it, everybody. Uh, again, notice the time change. We're going to be coming back probably what looks like in an hour and 15 minutes or so. Um, I've moved that stream back to 7 uh, because of a lane break down here at the center, unfortunately. Uh, but that's going to do it for the B squad coverage. Back with C squad tonight. We're 66% done with qualifying. My name is Mike Flanagan. You've been watching InsideBowling.com. We want to thank our sponsors one more time. Columbia 300, the Greater Ozarks Open Tournament. Been Crazy, Enterprise Park Lanes, Exquisite Renovations, and Royal Flush Apparel. So for my guests in the booth, Mike, Matt, and CJ, my name again is Mike Flanagan. Thanks for tuning in to Inside Bowling's coverage of the 2023 Springfield Doubles. I'll be back around 7 o'clock Central with continuing coverage here of the C-Squad. A lot of re-entries. We should have some big names. A lot of people chasing this cut score. Stay tuned to Inside Bowling on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for updates uh, of the scores as they become available. Have a great break, everybody, and I will see you guys here in just a little over an hour.